You got yeah. what? <laughs> the autistic e girl is. All right, another weirdest thing I've ever heard. Okay, let's like see. This car. One, because it's ridiculous. It's two V8 engines in one body. But <laughs> also because uh, it has a really, uh, really low drift angle. You can get its drift angle really low. Plus, you drift in places you normally can't with other cars. Okay. I believe I see it. All right. So, we want to go full game or we want to go short? Full game. I'm all right with the full one. All right, let's roll. I want to get intimate. You want to have an actual chance at dating monsters instead of getting potentially fucked over like we did last time? Yeah, but I want to get romantic, too. Ready up. Ah, come spooky, the stage of some of our dearest summers. Back then, we were young and unafraid. With school far away, everything seemed possible as the sun embraced us on our way to camp. Summer has that distinct power, doesn't it? You live for the days while the nights inebriate you with possibilities. It's like life could take a turn at every corner. And for us, it did. Alright. So who wants who? I am willing to step away from Brian. Mm. I want to be the fire lady. I don't. I wish I had. I need to buy the skin DLC. Again, I can't switch it for somebody else. I thought I could. I'm. I'm happy. Maybe to you can. Oh. Can. Okay. Maybe. Do you see the blue lady? Mm. Yes. Yeah. I do. Okay. Show I can switch it for everybody then. So that's who blue can be. These three. Green can be this or this. Uh, this yellow. Layer. Yellow can be the pumpkin girl. And Sawyer's over girl. on the left. Then give me the red bitch. Oh my god, I can be it! <laughs> yes, you can. What the fuck, Mod Modius Undertaker? Yes, I wanna Modius him. Undertaker. Yeah. Oh, I what? I want to be what the pumpkin. The okay, so pumpkin as Modius. Bean's already uh, claimed... Bean's already claimed... Uh, no, I've claimed nothing. I was just, I was just uh, voicing my... I was voicing my confusion. I wanna be the unicorn. Uh, Did you mean Helltaker? Yeah. Yes, yeah, Helltaker. I'm a, a Helltaker, I'm stupid. Okay, so, okay. Who wants to be who? Come on, guys. Yeah, okay, I wanna be the pumpkin. Strobs is pumpkin. Okay, Strawberry's claimed the uh, pumpkin. He wants to be the unicorn. So that leaves you blue or green? Uh... Being the funky little guy would be kind of funky. The gr one with the Gravity Falls hat. All right. Yeah, the Gravity Falls. And I'll just no, be me. Actually, no. <laughs> I'll just be me in another world. Not, not, not actually though. Give me the uh, the other one from from that one. That's not Brian either. The woman. Yeah, they're hot. I'd I'd fuck them. So uh, yeah. Okay. We would all effectively fuck ourselves. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Yep, that's how Monster Prom should be played. Would you fuck yourself? Yeah. I mean, that's my Yeah, I so. Have a body nah, you gotta pick! Alright, sorry, I just want to make sure everybody's switched. Alright. We're all ready. One must Turquoise. desire to be the person they truly feel in their heart. <laughs> his name's just Doug. You know what? Screw it, I'm Doug. Yep, yeah, his ass packed is enough Doug. Hawaiian shirts. I hope I packed enough Hawaiian shirts. <laughs> Love this guy. Now, do we want to go random or do we want to go for specific targets? I'm I'm down to random game. Pack what feels in your heart. I don't even know what goes to. Yeah, well, you can usually tell by what it kind of looks like. But yeah, let's just do what we did the first time we played this and just pack what you would actually pack in pack this situation. Pack what feels true to you. Yep. Oh. Uh... Very strong insect repellent. I feel like bugs would be all over my gelatinous body, so I'm taking that. Bold and charm. Okay. Um. Pocket therapist. Hey, there's what Nora needs. <laughs> <laughs> That's mean. I need a pocket mat. Yeah, it's, it's. Oh, Jesus Christ. I feel like he'd be a victim. Blade, blade. Sharp. And. The Beyblade blade and a sword. Knife. Exactly. Knife, knife. Mm. 
Well, Lake considering Juan. my chill attitude, Sleeping Beauty. So Big cool. charm. Oh, wait, did it just revert for everybody? Aw, that's unfortunate. Damn. Sorry, guys. Dang. Moment. This is cancel culture at its finest. It is. Is there a button that you press to swipe between them? Yeah, there's a little circle above their heads if you have it. I see. I, I think it's uh, paid specifically for you. Yeah, and I hate All that. Alright. You wish you could That's be like. That's fine. Yeah. Don't worry, I'll get everybody the DLCs so they can have their respective characters. No. Oh my. Oh wait, you can't change. You can't pick them. No, unless you have it. Well, Nora can still be Sawyer. Yeah, can still be a buff unicorn. Who? Me? All right. What would you pick, Nora? Lemon <laughs> lemonade, Daki Makirara, spooky yeah. campfire, chest two, campfire songbook, flash <laughs> flashback light. None of these are really good. Well, uh, you can I'll just hit random again. She got and binding of Isaac Brimstone pillow. on her backpack. Oh yes. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> I do. Brimstone. Yep. Yeah. Baby. Um. Alright. Yeah. Bow, I guess I'll bring you. Bow, bow. And something to eat. They think some uranium lipstick just in case. Sounds like a lot of work. Mm. Holy shit. Holy shit. Bill Cipher Gravity Fall. Yeah. Shut up. Every triangle is not the same guy. Eh, Discriminatory. Close enough. Close enough to me. Species based discrimination. <laughs> what a Rubik's Cube. Mm -hmm. I'm taking that shit. That a, a human wool sweater. Yeah. yeah, human wool sweater. It, I I don't wanna don't wanna wear the the Hank wool. No. I think I'm good. No, I don't think I would either. Mm, therapy or the thing that makes people want to go to therapy. You know what you must choose. That one. <laughs> yes. And now we work from what we can. One might say that the monster prom had hardened us on the highs and lows of love, but no, in love we're always absolute beginners. And summer camp was no different. No one talked about it, but the idea of a summer love loomed over our heads. Mm. It was the last day of camp. There was a meteor shower happening just three weeks away. Everyone knew that if you were into someone, you were going to watch that damn thing together. And so a silent yet powerful pressure invaded us. It was the monster prom all over again. Everything seemed uncertain. Everything but one thing. Whoever we were asking on his meteor shower date, it was probably going to be one of the six coolest people on that bus. Joy Johnson Jojima, 23, a badass witch who had wanted to chill a bit after saving the world countless times. Araravi Mishra, 22, a hot-headed adventurer possessed by a curse who had turned out to be the most annoying roommate ever. Calculesta Hewlett Packard version 1.1, a library computer who had become a sentient robot ready to experience life to its fullest. Daria Aquino, 20, a buff blue demon and a warmonger who had set her sights on conquering summer next. Damien LeBay, 21, a fearless demon with a taste for destruction and a love of fire. 
And Milo Belladonna, 23. A Death Reaper doubling as an internet influencer and who is profoundly in love with life and all his earthly pleasures. God, he's so hot. Yeah. Yeah, they are. Or is Both. it a, actually not? It's a they. What, is that is that is that a they? That's yes, a they, they are they. they. Oh, oh boy. Yes. Oh All boy, right. even more is. <laughs> they got pronouns. They got pronouns and they're hair hot. and pronouns. A pronouncer? Hell yeah. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. The bus trip was long and all of summer could be shaped by the first step well taken. And so it was clear, it all came down to breaking the ice and causing a good impression with the right person. So. Uh, I think we had this one yesterday. So who wants who? I want a Robbie. Okay. I respect your choice greatly as well. Uh, you guys know who I who I yes. would like. Okay. He's buying sandwich ingredients. I've never been so proud. Our little gremlin is working out. Okay. Nora, who would you like? Um. I. I uh, <laughs> I figured out who all these are. It's okay. So... I want Pizza Girl. What the hell? We can it's get a... Pizza oh, Girl. Um, no, yeah. no, okay, no. You can get Pizza Girl by but just... once we get to the drinking game. Yeah, you okay. just have to pick someone that we don't want. So, so pick whoever. Who do you want, so Matt? So Beans probably wants Milo. Yes, yeah, Beans wants Milo. Yeah. So Beans, when you get to your choice. Take selfies compulsively. One you're on right now. Yes, I, I assumed. Yes, I, yeah. I, I, I could assume. And, and uh, I, I you wanted a Robbie? Mean. Challenge someone to a staring duel. Yep. All right, Nora. She's you don't care who. No. Um. Hmm. <laughs> it's a weird thing to basically just be sitting here like, well, I don't really want anybody because I'm just the kind of outlier to just kind of be the aid. Uh, <laughs> screw it, I guess I'll just take Damien. So, Damien is... Damien is burping loudly. Thank you, thank you. Uh, doot. Doot. So, Nora, just pick somebody who isn't... On the right. Pick the anybody on the left. I need that one. Time for you to sigh loudly. Left, left, something. left side, Nora. <laughs> yeah, but his would be selfies. Milo's is selfies. Oh, Milo's is selfies, yeah. That one's my. That's the one that I'm supposed to be doing here. Oh, oh I fuck. said left, Nora. Yeah, we can both do it. <laughs> it's fine. No, it's not. <laughs> Okay. Yes, it is, you stupid whore. Mm hmm. Whoa, nice Bird, burp, dog. Dude. Strong tone, smooth finish. I give it a B. Plus. I bet I could burp at least an A minus. You and Damien try to keep one up. Eh. Trying, keep trying to keep one up each other with real burps. Filling the air with the smell of your lunch and uh, all the way to camp. You would both be dead immediately. Especially because I probably eat humans. Yeah. Doesn't like a good burp sesh to get me excited about camp. I hope I see more of you when we arrive, Doug. Oh, the fight. <laughs> Who wants to be did, Robbie? Did I just hear several simultaneous declarations for a duel? You gotta click oh, or hit enter. Oh, do I? Yep. Uh, no, you're the host. It's gotta be you. Nope. Whoever started well, it's it is. B then. It's, it's B's B. then, because it's number two. B. Okay. Hmm. I think you did, girl. And I've already got a hot, toasty bagel to munch on while I watch the carnage. Levied the challenge, but Sawyer and all. Can you... you levied the challenge, but can you keep up? I'm a world champion, staring dual fighter. I even went to nationals. You may have what it takes to beat me, or you may not, I guess. We'll have to see once camp is all over with. 
over which of you will come out on top. I'll be coming. Yeah. <laughs> and Who wants like, the voice mm, of Twink? Who I wants the voice I of Twink? Do, I can't gender this enough, I don't think. I, I, you want I me to take I a could. guess? I could too. Go ahead. Jeans, who do you vote for? Um, allow me to do some off, some off uh, microphone things to see if I can voice the gender correctly. <laughs> voice the non-gender correctly, all right? Hell yeah. Mm, no, I can't. Well, one of you three just kill Ooh, each other. Okay, I'll do kill it. Each other. All right. Oh, Ooh. are you taking selfies right now, Green? Oh, Joyce, this bus has such good lighting. That is pretty gender. I'll give it to you. I'll... Yep. I often find that the best selfies I've taken in the unlikeliest of places. I prefer to take mine between the dumpster at Pizza Hut. God, I, I so would do that. On, a, on I respect that great. I'm sure we'll take a plethora of beautiful selfies at camp. Hashtag Hot Girl Summer. <laughs> yeah. More like, More like hashtag hot for drift. my little this summer, <laughs> if you catch my drift. Yeah, yeah, so true. You're so real. So real, You're Mary. Risen. Yeah. Time to get risen. We only had three weeks left to woo our crushes and conquer their hearts. But as I already said, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. Okay, so, ah, uh, alright everybody, let's check our stats and see how good or bad we are at life. Okay. So, mouse to the right or hit tab. You know your color, to who you are. So Do I've I... got good boldness, good charm. I could kind of boost up those a little. And... I'm just going to not do boldness. Yeah, so, let's see the partner you pursue requires different stats. Yes. So, yes, for I, me, I, I need around 10 of boldness, fun, and charm at a decent level. So my boldness and fun are good at 7, and you get 2 points guaranteed per for depending on where you go, and then depending on thinking, how you complete the challenge, you can get extra stats. Thinking about Milo, I'm assuming the top two I definitely don't need, so it's a choice between the bottom three. It's a, it's you need two, right? Uh, for Milo, you need charm and creativity. Charm right, and creativity. So you hell, need yeah. the bunker I'm, I'm, on the. I'm smart like that. Yeah. So you need the bottom left, the tent thing, the dome, and you need the top the right. The dome. The dome. Yep. Well, actually, hold up. Which one are you? You're. Brian or your Oz? I'm Brian. So your creativity's good, your they're both charm, five, yeah, they're both they're five, five, so you need to kind of boost those. Yeah, I'll take I, I, I can do that. I'll take it. Yep. Easy All right. Piece. So for Aravi Scrolling down here. Uh you want to balance stat load. Oh, that's rough. Yeah. Um, that's rough? Like, how close do they need to be? Pretty close to each other. So, you need creativity and smarts. And then just kind of yeah. keep trying to go wherever and keep your those, stats yeah. in a decent way. So, I am bold, charming, and I need fun, I believe. Yeah, I said fun. So, I guess I'm going to the lake. Of course, I pick one with high standards. <laughs> That's exactly. Someone who's good, at, who's good at more than one thing. Too bad. That day, you bring a magazine to read by the lake. The cover story is how to gain fun while camping with your six hottest, most charismatic friends. Step one, go to the lake. Step two, wait. W what? That's it? Th you why hasn't it worked for you yet? Oh, oh, wait, you just came too fun. Thanks, Cosmopolitan. 
You're walking along the shore a little while long later when you stumble across Damien. Like, literally stumble across him. Because he's crouched in the sand yelling at some crabs. Me, dude. Don't you dare fucking ignore me. I know you can hear me. Huh? I mean, I don't technically know you hear me. I'm not 100% sure what crabs, have, what crabs have ears. But that's no excuse. Hey, noob. Oh, hey, Doug. Maybe you can help me out here. These armor crabs have a fight club and I'm trying to join. You look what Damien is pointing and sure enough, you can see a circle of hermit crabs surrounding two beefy crab combatants. And they're really going at it. <sighs> These two are regulars. They're Sylvester Shalone on the left. Sylvester Shalone. And the one on the right is Jean-Claude Van Damme. Fight me, dude! I've been having a great time watching them fuck each other up. But when I asked if I could fight, they just ignored me. It's like, I get it, the first rule of hermit fight, hermit crab fight club is don't talk at all because you're hermit crabs. Still, I have just as much right to join their club as anybody. I mean, what they got, I haven't got. Claws, a hard chitinous exoskeleton, a shell. Ah, oh, fuck, that's the problem, isn't it? No shell. I bet if I had a shell, they'd let me you join. You need to learn from the pros. Well, you know what? I'm gonna get a shell so sick all these crabs will shit themselves. <laughs> the crab shit, no matter. My shell's gonna be so sick it'll teach them to shit themselves and then they'll do it. I just, uh, need to figure out what to use my shell. Any ideas? Oh, you've got an idea, all right. Listen to this stupid bullshit. So. Do we want to cheat and just get... Go for our endings, or do we want to try and figure these out? But... I'm and, up for the ending. I, mean, I, I, I can just try and suss it out myself, but I... Yeah. All right. Shell, I mean, what about calculus? Pretty obviously smart. It's the one up there. Mm. Well, let's... Well, let's... It? Well, let's test your fe feature. So... Ow. Shell? You were pretty close. You were actually on the point. Shell is boldness and smarts is calculus. Or wait, hold up. Yeah. Yeah, calculus is a smart people thing, and emotionally tormenting someone is, uh, Bold gotta does. be bold to do that, right? That's just my work. Hey, that's a great idea. It combines my love of emotionally maiming people with my love of joining her meat crab fight clubs. Hmm. But where are we gonna find some poor bastard to verbally eviscerate? Just then, a corpse washes ashore. It's clearly been out in the lake for weeks. It's kind of shocking you couldn't tell that from the smell it's making now. <laughs> whoa, 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 hey, look at this bag of bones. This guy died wearing that. Someone put me on a coffin wearing these sorry ass clothes. I had to come back to life just to beat the shit out of the coroner. The corpse says nothing, but based on its frozen expression and the miasma of death, you can tell it's a little offended. What a noob. How'd this ugly motherfucker die anyway? Drowning? <laughs> what a noob. Water's like the lamest fucking element of all. I'd have never been caught dead. Then be dead. Get caught dead in the lake. A single tear rolls down out of the corpse's eye. Then a whole gush of water spills forth because this body is pretty waterlogged. Get a life. Oh no, what's wrong, fuck, Bell? You gonna cry? You gonna cry because you're a little unfashionable around a piss, baby? Nora, did you take over with Damien? <laughs> well, too fucking bad, you're dead. Piss, <laughs> baby. Damien kicks the corpse hard. It rolls over in its stomach to reveal a giant hermit crab shell attached to its back. Oh, you're a Whoa, it worked! I insulted the corpse and it. Till it became an empty shell, and it worked. You're a mad fucking genius, Doug. How oh, the power of coincidence is as strong it can, Spooky. Damon rips the shell out of the corpse's back. A lot of its nasty skin comes off too. Puts it on and joins the, herm the hermit crabs. The hermit crabs are all extremely impressed by how willing Damien was to alienate the corpse like that. Hermit crabs are bastards. Damien is admitted to the fight club and given the name Chuck Norris because of the signature move, chucking all the other crabs into the lake. <laughs> You make a killing betting on him, but you trade it all for two charm and one boldness. Hey, that's what I need. Let's go Heck yeah. Alright, Nora, you might as well just complete yours just to get the stat boosts. What do I do? Just go anywhere. You can go to the forest or you can go to the uh, manor. Because these oh, two okay. need... What? Hold on. Okay. okay, hold on. Bye. What? Did you see any of the messages I had sent you? About your night. birds not shutting up, or the rest of them, Last or night. you calling me a shithead because I fell asleep? I told you to take a nap, shithead. 
You can't read. That's whatever. But so yes, I did. That day in the haunted manor, you accidentally stumble upon a cult meeting in the hallway. So mean. The cultists are wearing terrifying black robes, standing over a bloody body and chanting. You try to flee, but one of them shoves a flyer in your hand. Sorry, Nora, it's forcing human interaction. The ink burns your eyes to read, but you manage to find the words. New recruits get healthcare benefits with the same day sign up. Oh. What's sold? You gain a bunch of new cultist buddies, and your insurance covers spontaneous plus two boldness grows. Cool. You calculus earn Milo are enjoying wonder. Where do One. I have Milo? Uh, no, I probably have. I, no, never mind. Whatever. Yeah, these people just show up here whether you're trying to seduce them or not. I guess Welcome so. Welcome to another video with Milo Belladonna. <gasps> is this haunted room actually stretching? Or is it just your imagination? Hmm. A wild Arabia piece. There they are. Oh, hey. What are you guys doing here? Making Disney references. My analytics show that millennials love and content <laughs> because the present is consistently horrifying how about you so <laughs> how about you boo I was, I was looting the rooms for treasure when i found this strange rectangular prize Not enough signal to process this. i can handle that sensors detect ancient technology a video home system or vhs insert cassette here to see images Cassette points. Calculus to points is... Bleh, God, can you speak? Calculus to points to a VHS. Player located distressingly close to his cross region. But once you decide not to be a creep and like to put the videotape in a nearby 90s TV instead. Aww. Don't worry, we'll insert in the robot later. Hey! Oh! Greetings, customers and curse enthusiasts. Thank you for turning into Pozo's Pizza's newest, fastest, freshest... Gorilla. Gor gor gorilla? Gorilla? Yeah. <laughs> Marketing gorilla campaign. Gorilla in the form of uh, killing people and then running. We've seen how much our focus away. groups like this newfangled internet. And we're no strangers to the young, hip, new fads. Get ready to the... Get ready to pizza Paladin, party. Paladin, how are you, my dear friend? Enjoy Welcome back from Pozo's the void. pizza today. Remember, if you uh, don't tip. I will be back mm, in seven Fancy days to meeting you. you guys here. Did someone order pizza or something? Hashtag fail. Absolutely not. Moreover, now my live stream is bound to get stricken down for all the copyrighted music you used in that shoddy commercial. I can't believe I'm going to lose perfectly good clout to in sync <laughs> of all people. <coughs> paid enough for this. Hey, it caught me off guard, holy me. crap. <laughs> Hey, don't get mad at me, dude. Pozos hasn't used this whole uh, curse with spam marketing stuff and yeah, since 2005. If you God, haven't played guard. the dumb tape, I'd be home right now. Oh dear. Oh gosh. My apologies, oh, no. friend pizza girl. But did you say cursed with spam? Should we be bracing ourselves for an incoming can't meet assault? <sighs> oh no. At least that would be funny. What I think we've got here is a totally lame advertisement curse. Purses. Now in seven days time we'll be subjected to nothing but Pozos ads until we eat ourselves sick with their pizza. Fucking Pozos, taking all the art out of good cursing. Mm. That's stupid. As a future food truck owner I disagree with doing customers to only consume advertisements for my food. Especially now that it's happening to me. Ah, yes, Arabi. As a present influencer, this is literally my waking nightmare. I don't even know which I hate more. Invasive advertisements or pizza. One or both. If I can't shake this curse, my Instagram feed will be filling with nothing but disgusting imitations of Italian cuisine. My reputation will be in shambles. I th I think I'm going to... <laughs> oh no, friend Milo, you appear to have fainted. Please regain consciousness immediately.
buy a hot pizza. Hot pizza, now convince 10 of your friends to buy a pizza or we will murder your family. No, the curse is already setting in. You need to fix this before you end up like the pizza girl. Or worse, you become too obsessed with pizza to focus on boinking your friends. No, not the inability to fuck. Give me a second. So, what are our guesses? Well, actually, Nora, you're just trying to skip through this. Creativity bottom. Okay. And, uh, I can't, honestly, I can't tell. These ones are both pretty. Smarts to ascend from the material plane? I'm <laughs> thinking, maybe. Or maybe charm bot, I don't know. Okay, so what's your highest stat, Nora? My highest stat is creativity. So, bottom is your choice. The priest brand is annoying. You are attempting to help. Hey, it was creativity. Let's go. Hey, yo. <laughs> My little rise. Hold up. Uh, I'm trying to look up the pizza girl's name. Uh, Sadie. Her name is Sadie. There you go, pony. Error. Yeah. Hypocrisy detected. Would it not be the same level of corrupt, inhumane sub to subject the world to Milo spam when we are seeking refuge from spam ourselves? Pizza. Oh, no, 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 Calculester. It's much different, you see. Pizza is gross, and I am fantastic. Meh. I mean, he is fantastic. Yes, Nora. My friends oh, brought cool. me furry shades of gay, two and three. But we did. It's just gay. You guys Happy bought birthday. the. F what the? F and they made me play it. Not true. We said you didn't have. What? Is it that weird? Okay, okay. But, but wait, B, uh, or sorry, Matt, before before you say anything... I don't need to look these things up, but I Everyone else no liked it. Everyone else thought it was pretty damn good. <laughs> He's the only one I would like to state it's also... It's also... This Discord. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. This is we, literally... We told... We told... <laughs> we imagine. told B he didn't have to play it. Alright, yeah. Nora. I'm sorry that you had to go through furry porn. <laughs> spamming people with a fantastic you... product is much oh better God, than no. spamming them with a detestable one. Also, I'm a celebrity, and therefore totally above reproach. Uh, debatable, but alright. You won't get to work. For every piece of bozo that where you see, you four compose a Milo ad that's twice as enticing and invasive until you've beaten your curse into submission. Nice. <laughs> Okay, I've got a new one. How about an ad for a Milo subscription service? Where for three monthly payments of $69.99, you can get a clone of Milo's face. Huh. It's hilarious because it's the sex number. By the way, Nora, uh, Paladin feels sorry for you too. What's that? <laughs> I'm already working on a prototype. Okay, now that's on my fucking front. That's on my Steam game library mm. forever. <laughs> I'm already working on a prototype YouTube mid-roll ad You're that's just that Milo it. pouring maple syrup on their collarbones for three minutes. Oh my god. Good heaven. Oh lord. <laughs> it was so sticky. You're like Have them pour hot mozzarella, mozzarella, mozzarella on their chest instead. Trust me, you'll get plenty of clicks. Oh, uh, thanks. Good suggestion. Wait, are you helping us? Aren't you the one who cursed us? Hey, just because I'm not a malevolent spirit that popped out of your TV screen doesn't mean I like my job. Oh. Plus, I have all these melted mozzarella, all, all this melted mozzarella with me that I'm just gonna have to take back to work if we don't use it now. By the time you're, you're, you're kind done, of giving like that. a oh, you're giving like a slight intonation of a Burger King foot lettuce. Uh, yeah, kind of. Except you, it's you would have the perfect, the, would absolutely have that voice. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to give her no emotion. It still works, though. It's a good kind of Boy. mix. By the time you're done, Puzzle's ads are nothing but a bad, greasy memory. The consuming pizza craze has been replaced with a consuming Milo. Consume death. 
I'm just trying well, to give her that monotone voice. Pizza. It's still good. I like it. Now anytime someone feels like eating pizza, the clever marketing stunt you pulled it convinced them that they want to eat Milo instead. Not weird at all. <laughs> yeah, I want to eat Milo. The A.O. <laughs> Milo makes bank. They're already pretty wealthy from the influencer stuff, though, so it's said they all buy you all plus two fun and plus one smarts to thank you for your help. Where to go? Heck yeah. Alright. So, so, you're going I need for who? Here, here. Or Aravi, which you need a, a near stats. even number of everything. So, Which you need creativity. creativity. You want to go there. That day of the Monster Scouts, they teach you how to use the stars and tree bark to find your way when you get lost. On the internet. As a test, Coach leaves you in the middle of the internet. You easily get lost. Before you know it, you're watching the Spanish synchronized swimming team performing a routine based on the stairway to heaven. This is just Nora's average night. Don't earn the orientation while in the internet badge, but you definitely gain plus two creativity from watching such beautiful display of skill. You find that Avi and the two of you walk around the HQ building, opening every single drawer in case there are useful items inside. All seems well until... <laughs> oh no, it's the bear. Shall I? Beans, voice it, voice it now. I'm, attack. I'm a bear, I don't attack it! <laughs> ah, uh, the, the chilling cry of the, uh, the dreaded attack bear. A beast as rich and cunning as it is in XP. Stand back, Olive. I'll handle this. While I'm pleasantly surprised by your commitment to bear safety, Aravi, I just want to make sure. Beware the bear! You know I'm not an actual bear, right? Just your old pal coach dressed in a bear suit in order to increase bear awareness? Uh, Aravi? Why are you standing there, frozen, staring off in the middle in, into the middle distance? Is this some new millennial dance I'm unaware of? Oh god, I've seen this before. She's menuing. I thought that said me. <laughs> I thought it I did too. too. I wanted to die. What? I thought it said It wasn't quite it, it's not quite time for me. That's in road She's trip. navigating her attack menu in order to select the perfect move with which to defeat you. Uh, what attack menu? This is part of a Ravi skirt. Yep. Oh, the one in her head, I guess. Although I'm in her head and I don't see any attack menu. I always just tell her to choose something randomly and get it over. <sighs> you don't get it, you dumb curse. Monster hunters are weak against bears because bears are technically beasts, not monsters. Monster hunter tells me otherwise because you can fight gigantic <laughs> bears in that. I've got to choose the perfect attack to counter my type disadvantage. Otherwise, this combat might go sub-optimally. <sighs> oh no. I want you all to know I currently am eating uh, cake batter fudge ice cream. Delicious. Anyway, well, in a real bear attack, you can't expect the bear to wait around while you select the perfect attack. So, neither will I. Roar! And then and, and stop. That was perfect. That was... Good job. Good job. Coach charges towards the Ravi. Quick, help her break out of her decision paralysis before she falls victim to this fake bear attack. Okay. It's 27 bears! <laughs> Hold up. I'm sorry, both of the- I don't even care about, like, the actual stat. <laughs> Repeal the second so amendment. Good. Okay. <laughs> are just so the 27 so is bold, and the re repeal is Remove. smart. Repeal the constitution is not smart about- okay. actually works too, because it's four. Okay, yeah, so you want bold. Have... You want bold, bottom, yeah, bottom. I have more bold. And you're Filling not going to- <laughs> Wait, who said they had the ice cream? Was it strawberry or was it beans? Beans. Uh, beans? Paladin saying, and you're not going to share? <laughs> yeah, good luck. Good <laughs> luck. Shoves ice cream Michael through microphones. Goods. All I am, all I am saying, Big Twenty-seven man, bears. I'm a special trolley in in my town, and I can only get it from there, and it's not open very often. And you are, you are, you ain't getting shit. <laughs> you ain't they will shit. fight you for it. I have a cinnamon bun, so. 
Oh, that sounds good, Although too. Pulls I'm out happy. a spreadsheet of enemy strengths and weaknesses and considers it intensely. I just have a cookie. Hmm. Bear. Type. Bear. Strong against hunter type. Fish type. Honey type. Weak against... Unbelievable. 27 bear type. You're absolutely right. All right. I cast Bear Force 1. <laughs> Before you know it, the air is so full of mental rest and growling as 27 Holy parachuting shit, bears descend into location. Bears. <laughs> Yay! Or, 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 Just or, say the line. Or, 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 or. It's a veritable... It's a veritable bear strike. Good. The bears land by one by one, gathering around goats you prepare for an ugly scene. Oh. Uh, look. Guys, I was just trying to teach my students how to stay safe from bear attacks out here in the woods. Are you really gonna maul an old coach over that? 27 bear strike. What? This is the lead bear. Maul you. See, this is exactly the issue. Yeah, says another. Well, wilderness bears attacks do happen. They're actually quite rare. By posing as a bear and attacking summer campers, you're contributing to a harmful image of bears as bloodthirsty behemoths who only care about murder and picnic baskets. And don't even get us started on that goofy fuck yogi. Sorry, I, I'll let you have that next one. Browse another one. Not bear yet. But how am I supposed to teach my students about bear safety if not by dressing up in this costume and threatening them both physically and... And intellectual. <laughs> beans. Actually, yeah, beans. You're voicing you this bear. Well, no, it's already. It's too close to coach. Well, I suppose we can't stop you, says one of the bears. But would you at least take steps to present a more rounded bear picture of bear culture? By the way, they say if you want to fight a guy in steel armor with a shield and warhammer, good luck with that. Yeah. I see. Uh, joke's on you. I have a mace and also armor. So, uh, night stool, idiot. Uh, I sure can, but I'd really appreciate if you guys could help me develop my bear curriculum. After all, I don't want to be accused of cultural appropriation. Again. Also, yes, Nora, what was it? Hey. I don't know if you didn't make sure. That's an interesting problem. We're first world yeah. problems. Plus, as I always say, many hands make light work. Especially if those hands are bare hand. That they do. The bears agreed to come and teach us a workshop on bear literature and cuisine. And Coach agrees to attach a label to the back of his costume that says, Not an actual bear. That's fair. <laughs> Very cool. And since he's not a bear, this whole lecture is now moot. You figured a Ravi might be enjoying exploding a loophole like that. You gain plus two smarts and plus one fun. And now I'm almost fully balanced. Okay. There we go. Let's go. That's gonna Top make skill checks hard. Alright. Well, our ass is a camp dome, and right? Oh, yes, yeah, sir. Yay, dome. That day of the camp dome, you play hacky sack. It's all funny games, literally. Until the hacky sack falls, and against all known knowledge of hacky sack's supposed composition, it breaks open and hitting the floor. What the fuck? The good news inside, there's plus two charm. You got dibs. Sounds like a fun time. I... Come see me when you want a duel, says Paladin. <laughs> I, I need an explanation of, like, the death, the death and murder behind, uh, Behind listen, them. listen, well, it's the dome. Hacky sack is a very yeah, violent Viol Yeah, no, like, literally, you want the hacky sack, so you just shoot somebody with arrows. Yeah, honestly, yeah. I never I never knew, like, hacky sack is, like, an actual sport. Like... No, it was for a small not, time. Kind of, it's yeah. weird. Weird to think about. Anyway. Afterwards, you're taking a break from flirting there to death is. in the Camp Dome games to flirt with an actual personification of death besides a few empty crates. I forgot well, it you thought they were empty anyway, but as soon as you get your conversation with Milo started, starts getting tintillating, a half bad, half young adult hunter bursts out of them. Alright, who wants to be Batness? Um. Do you want to be Batness? 
Okay. Then I'll, I'll, I'll be Batness. Uh, fellow rebels, it is I, Batness. Why aren't you out there on the battlefield destroying the Chancellor's brutal regime? Mm -hmm. Because I'm tired? I'm tired too! Tired of watching the Camp Dome waste countless lives in the guise of a fun reality TV murder game? Everyone just sits around and watches it! I want to say that's actually such a good voice. Proud of it. It is actually, I agree. Wait, we're on TV right now? How exciting! Which camera should I be playing to? God, I have to remember. I'm clicking. <laughs> oh, what the I'm... hell, Jojo? But I won't be fooled. I, <laughs> Batness, am the sole leader of this rebellion against the Chancellor's dictatorship. It is an unwanted, stressful role, but it is one of importance. Mm. Batness, darling, you don't need to spend your life stressed out and busy to be important. What? What are you talking about? C clever aphorisms solve nothing. We need to end the Chancellor's reign of terror. Just last week, he used toxic gas to wipe out the 10th city. He killed my on-again, off-again love interest, Pete Moss. And also several thousand babies. Oh, God. Wait, Wait. did you say the Chancellor is toxic? Oh, no. Uh -oh. He's been posting... He's been posting his fan art. He's been reposting other people's fan art. What? No, I, I said he's... he's he committed genocide using toxic gas. Are you even listening to me? Bro's Netanyahu for real. <laughs> yep, for real, for real. What? Oh, sorry. The IG feed is not great for my attention span. <laughs> oh, God. Anyways, since we agree the Tan Chancellor is toxic, I must admit I'm interested in helping your cause. We should do a collab. Leading a rally against toxic behavior is always a good look, huh? <sighs> you say you're having a hard time getting a following for your revolution? I'll post the perfect video photo of your Chancellor's atrocities. Or whatever, to rally support for you. This is the power of hope! Hey, that's a great idea! When the Chancellor releases propaganda, it's only for evil. But when I'm the one doing it, it's an act of bravery and rebellion. <laughs> true. Uh, so true. Uh, Badness and Milo put their heads together and take some great eye-catching photos of burning coal dusted corpses with dog filter over their faces. Rogue, when I was telling about my friend Stan and kept reading it wrong, mm. it's real M breakers put this together. Realm breakers. Oh, I see. Okay. My bad. How cute. Now all we need is the perfect caption. Green, do you have any ideas? Hey, this is an opportunity to show off your influencer skills to Milo. What's the perfect caption to get a hold of vapid Instagram is to overflow the... Uh, over, yeah, overflow. Over... Throw the government. Throw the... Uh, There's hmm. nothing more revolutionary than being yourself and destroying the political class or hashtag overthrowing the Thursday. After throwback, at overthrowback Thursday. All right. I'm... All right. I do not actually know what the fuck either of these are. Well, don't worry. Well, all right. I want you to take a guess. I'm not going to give you. Uh, I'm assuming this one's probably like boldness on account of destroying yeah. the ruling political class. Yeah, I would still choose that. I think the bottom one. one. I'm assuming that's what I think it the is. Bottom and one's charm. Charm or maybe fun. Yeah, I don't maybe second. fun. We'll see. Either way, it'd be fun. No, Alright, so, the... uh... Let's say, do... Apparently... Overthrow is fun, and nothing more revolutionary being yourself and destroying the political class is bold. That's what it says. That's what... So, okay, we were right. on, we were bottom right. one's... Bottom one yeah. is what you want, then. I would, I would be choosing this one if I were me, however, we <laughs> gotta we get them yeah. points. We gotta get them points. 
Hey, that's perfect. That's so the easiest way to get people on your side is to capitalize on their nostalgia for a simpler time. I believe ah, it. True. I feel nostalgia for a time before I was forced to lead a rebellion and simultaneously choose which of my two crushes could possess my walled off heart. Thanks. By Bad the way, news. Paladin, I found their channel. They just yeah, a yeah. Rubber. Just like that. Look, uh, look, Badness. People from me, from your society, have already got this hashtag trending. Hmm. Indeed, all the inhabitants of the Badness oppressed society are posting nostalgic pics of their pre-totalitarian regime lives. Hell yeah! Ah, Lovely. look, they're sharing pictures of cool '90s stuff, like not being forced to work in the coal mines. And reality TV shows that didn't involve murder. Battle Royales. Yeah. Mm. Battle That's Royales. Strange exactly. world. And also, and also VHS tapes and neon clothes. Those were so fun. Whatever happened to that? Eat the rich. And democratic elections and not being murdered all the time. Jesus Christ. The 90s were truly a good decade. Truly. On point. I recently read an article that said the 90s were coming back this decade. So kids can get ready to say hi to Furbies and bye to the mines. Uh, I don't know if I agree with that one, honestly. <laughs> the kids are for the coal mine. You enjoy falling over 90s with kids' nostalgia, and also the nostalgia of living to your 90s with Milo and Badness. <laughs> You also know this remedy isn't actually going to lead to any action, but at least you give a nice time drowning in nostalgia with Milo. You gain plus two creativity and plus one charm. Nice. Things you need. Literally the exact things I need. And we want to just do random or are we going to do this actually? Democratically. All right. I would, I would like to actually do this. All right. that'd be Pick a fictional character. Say it out loud. Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> Pretty fast beer. <laughs> I was expecting that. <laughs> Red Among Us. Okay. Uh, 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 I'm thinking about I'm thinking about Modius. I'll take it right now. Still All can't right. believe she's in the video. That one game. works. Yep, Modius. <laughs> okay, click. You gotta be the one who picks. No, you are. You're the manager oh. of a burger joint. Player order is decided based on which char virtual character would make the best assistant manager. I'm just saying. Ooh, Freddy Fazbear has experience yeah, in the food no, industry. It is, it is. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Uh, uh, Red Among Us. Bring up Red Among Us has work the hedgehog. Training. No. Red Among Us has work training. I think Red Among Us could make a good position. I would say. So long as they're not the imposter. I would say Freddy Fazbear Red, that, first, the then the... No. That's like the main issue. What? Red Among Us is, like, always the imposter, so... Yeah, but they're good at doing... Never yeah. Mind. They're no, chosen, that's what I'm yeah, saying. but they're assigned Freddy job. Freddy Fazbear first, then Red it's Among like Us. Red, Red's always the imposter among us, so... Mm. I'm still trusting in Red. I, my vote is for Red. Would probably be last. I feel like... I don't know. I think Sonic had the Hedgehogs last at the keeper. Really? I. They're both yeah. pretty bad. I think it's kind of indifferent which one. Neither of them. All right, I'll take yeah, last. Then. Them I'll take good. last. You'll take it. All right. All right. All right. All right. Well, Freddy all right. Fazbear's first. So whoever had Freddy Fazbear. That's me. Yeah, it's Straw. Olive. So click Strawberry. Now there'll be one. Heck okay, yeah. and then, then two. Red Among wins. Us. Red Among Us. I'll take last, and third, fourth. Uh, is... yeah. Hell yeah. Plenty of events left to go. Can I take a minute to think? Okay, so you gotta be more balanced, so... Um... Which one am I? You're the... The... the, 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 the. You're the first oh, one you'll now. have a mouse okay. on screen. So right I need now. more creativity again. Yep, go ahead. Yeah. That day of the camps. Scouts make a braid chain is a team building exercise. You learn all sorts of new ways to braid hair. Also, Paladin Pony, they had 855 subscribers when I found them. 
But the person braiding your hair accidentally ties an infinity knot in your hair. There's no way to untie it. You can see into infinity. Well, that's convenient. Fun time. But right before it's Coach gives you the worst balance. haircut of your life, you see how all your friends die. It's usually helping you to eliminate David Davidson, the doomed deer person, from your romantic prospects. Yeah. Hello, simps. Oh, there's Oppie. No, no Oppie. Scribbles Oppie. McSparty Pants is not Oppie. Oppie. Here. Oppie in the wrong. In the chat. In the chat. Oh, I'm in here. oh, in chat. <laughs> You also watch every Marvel movie that will ever be released. You gain plus two creativity from witnessing so many plot twists. My goodness. You almost died like three times this week, so you decided to tag along with Calculus and Aravi to listen to one of Goja's scout lessons on survival. Yay, learning. Oh, Adam, right, coach. Yeah. Oh, boy, great. Once you've got... <laughs> Once it got the hyena and submission hold, you use the comb to lull it to sleep. And that, kids, is how you survive a hyena attack using only a hair comb. Hey, that's perfect. Huh? Huh. Never thought about literally putting an enemy to sleep. I always thought that was just an euphemism for murdering them. Good to know. Mm. I agree, friend Aravi. Personally, I do not own a hair comb because I do not possess hair follicles. But I still found the lesson quite formidable. Informative. Informative. Did somebody say pizza? Mm. Yeah, yeah. We all learned a ton. Whatever. Whatevs. Hey, coach. Can we talk scout cookies now? I'm starting to get a real case of the munchies over here. Mm. Ah, yes. I know you kids have been working real hard on your cookie selling badge. Let's check in on our sales numbers. I'll consult my trusty, reliable clipboard. You're not getting a badge for this. Oh. Um, um, uh, well, the scouts, our cookie sales have been slightly horrible. It seems that our entire troop has sold one <laughs> box of cookies. Oh, God. Total. Oh, dear. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. oh, dear. That is far from below historical average sales trends for a troop of our size. Coach, does this mean that you are no longer proud of us? Monster scouts what? Uh, of course not. I am always proud of you, scouts. And hey, it's not over yet. You kids are smart. You'll figure out some way to get these cookies selling. I believe in you. I am happy. Wow, I have been sufficiently motivated by coaches. Positive attitude, and now I wish to sell the maximum possible amount of scout cookies. Friends, will you assist me? God, I love Coach. I'm such a cool guy. I'm in. It's a good test of our abilities. If we're ever gonna run a successful food truck together, we better be able to sell a few cookies, right? Whoa, you guys, creative genius moment. Remember the other day when we were talking about potential mascots with a food truck? What if we got a cookie mascot to help sales? <laughs> All the coolest food brands have mascots. Cheetos have Chester the Cheetah. M&M's have the horny green M&M. Yo Plate has the Yogano. The evil yogurt demon. Oh, Link, okay. The horny green M&M. Yeah. What a helpful suggestion. I am reviewing my memory logs for our brainstorming session last week. It seems that our best mascot idea was Foodie, the food <laughs> truck ghost. Sounds cool. Hmm. A mascot would be pretty kick-ass, but I don't think Foodie is a good fit for scout cookies. Any other ideas for a mascot? Sadly, I do not have any other ideas. I attempted to search the internet for the word keyword mascot, but 97% of the image results were classified as pornographic. Shh. Don't look at me. I already had one good idea today. That's way more helpful than I usually am. Give me a cookie. Looks like your friends are out of ideas. Luckily, you know the perfect way to get inspiration for a kick-ass cookie mascot. Tons of wild mascots live in the woods around camp. If you catch one, you can tame it and train it to be the perfect mascot. I haven't even looked it up, and I'm guessing that's bold. And then the, the most one is recognizable... Smart. The most recognizable iconography in the world 
stems largely from major religions. Look to the script. <laughs> smart. And that one's very likely smart. All right. <laughs> kind of funny, Check though. Check these Hold results up. just to be sure. I was correct. Top one's bold. Look to the scriptures is smart. Okay, so this is a gamble. Oh, God, it is. Yeah, that's the thing with Aravi. Oh. There are so many of them are going to be gambles. Uh, you know what? Let, let's look to the scripture. Hey! It worked! Olive makes an incisive point. Over half the world's population adheres to a major religion. Surely religion couldn't help inspire us. Our mascot search. Grab a Bible and start skimming for good mascot ideas. You see the perfect idea right away. The snake from the Garden of Eden. Damn. Maybe God is real. <laughs> the snake is an excellent potential mascot for our cookies. We already know that it is skilled at tempting mortal beings into eating indulgent foods. Uh, not bad, Olive. But wait, wasn't it just the devil disguised as a snake? Spoilers, Aravi. Damn it. You have to say spoiler alert. You're all super psyched about getting the devil slash snake as your mascot. Damien's from hell, you can... so you call him and ask if he's ever met the snake from Eden. <laughs> Pfft, this, that guy? Yeah, I know him. He isn't a devil, by the way. He's just a devil. Yeah, anyway, we're gonna die as fuck. That's true. In the Bible, it never says that he's the devil. Hmm. Damien summons the devil, snake devil in a terrifying blood ritual. You are scared, but excited. <laughs> Alright guys, meet Snake. You need the whole eat this apple scam and eat. Snake meet a Robbie Hex, Calculus, then Olive. Don't embarrass me, noobs. Greetings, fellow organic life forms. Greetings, Snake. I also, I apologize for my friend Damien's inaccuracy. As we all know, it was not an apple that you offered to Eve. It was fruit from the tree of knowledge. That's not true. It never really says it's an apple. True. Yes! The snake kisses. Thank you for saying it, that. Everyone thinks it was an apple. Because Latin uses the same word for evil and for apple. It's so vulgar. It's inaccurate, and I'm all so fucking sick of apples at this point. Everyone gives them to me as gifts. It's not even a f good fruit. You're so right. Yeah, Speaking fuck facts. apples. They only give you like 10 points of HP. They're basically useless to keep in your inventory. You kids totally get me. You pitch Nick the idea of being the monster scout cookie mascot, and he agrees. Oh yeah. Snape becomes the mascot and shockingly your best salesperson. Turns out if you conv can convince two people to get kicked out of paradise, you can pretty much sell anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, Come on, you I stupid. aspired to be him one day with D. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. The snake cookie hisses at a group of teens. Buy these forbidden cookies. God himself forbids you. We're taking the earth in the light. All the teens want to defy God, so you sell a buttload of cookies. You gain a cookie selling badge, your friend's approval, and plus two charm and plus one boldness. Heck yeah. All teens want to defy God is so real. Alright, Nora. Beep, 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 beep. Damn. What do I do? Oh. Uh... Hmm. Hold on, let me look at the stats here. Uh, so you're going for Milo, or no, no, pizza, no, beans. no. I know you're going for pizza. I'm trying to figure out uh... beans is. Yeah, be I beans wish to uh wish to the skeleton. Yeah. Okay, the, the 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 skeleton death death felt. Okay, so Robin needs around and Milo is. Can I scroll up again? You know what? Again, you think I would know the stats by heart? Charm and creativity. Okay. Okay. So you need charm's good. Creativity is claimed right now, so you can go to charm. So Nora, you can pick anything except the dome. Okay. <laughs> the only place they'll go. 
That day, you venture into the haunted manor. Everything is going fine, and you're reassured on how brave you are. Need a drink storyline for the first skirt. Yeah, the pizza girl ending. I do have the pizza unlocked. When suddenly a ghost, or is it someone just wearing a blanket with two holes? So hard to tell the difference. Appears and whispers in your ear. Remember one day you'll be long gone. And no one will remember you. All the struggle you endure to become a better person of yourself, both personally and professionally, will be eventually mean nothing. Huh. The ghost leaves while you take all that in, getting plus two boldness in the process. Meet up with the Ravi to see if you can stare them out of walls until they stop bleeding. It's working about as well as you can expect when... What do we have here? Hey, it's yeah. Jerry! Hmm. I think I can do a decent cow voice. Hey, stop that. I'm the one who gets a stab in the haunted manor. And I'm here to stab you two. Yawn, you really think the threat of a vanilla stabbing is gonna scare me, Jerry? You... you know who I am? That's right, I recognize you from r slash I love... Uh, r slash love to stab. And I gotta say, no. even for a slasher killer, you're <laughs> lame. I'm creative! I'll show you I'm creative! Bird. I have to take a picture of Bird. Oh my <laughs> god. Hold on. He's... He's loafing. The stuff we deal with, folks. Birds. I mean, in how the huts. He's everyone's favorite old man. Aww. You're getting old. That's not true. But I like being mean too. All right, Matt, be prepared. They're coming. I'm waiting. Send me a pic, too. Scrubs. You can try to get I, I remembered. Did you, uh... Matt, if you give me two... If you give me two of you this year, I'll bring Floyd with me. I <laughs> know you will. We have... Okay, that's actually long... really cute. I'm not even I don't lying. know how long he'll live for, so he better I be chop-chop quick. Mm-hmm. But no, oh my god. He's just a little boy. I love the feathers. He's and sleeping right now. He's all fluffed up. Oh. But what are you asking me, Bean? Would you like the uh, the Family Guy picture I sent you? I hated it. See, <laughs> self burn, dog. I mean, because you're uncreative, and I'm gonna show you yourself after I cut your face off. I save. Maybe this mission was too You're doing for terrific. <laughs> Whatever. You guys have no idea how great my murders are. What would you say if I, for example, killed you using methods that were emblematic of the seven deadly sins? Oh, my precious baby. No. I'd say that's the exact plot of the movie Seven. And you're nuts if you think you can ever be as much of a creep as Kevin Spacey. Hmm. It's pronounced Sivzin Aravi. Why is my friend status that? I told you I can't make Eldritch mouth sounds like you can. God. Mm -hmm. I just got fucking flashbang looking at my conversations because my friend's status is I love when he breeds me. I don't want to see that! Jesus Christ. You talk about breeding and pooping and stinking all the time. I don't but I just, no, unironically, bro. Like, yeah, I know. unironically. You do. I do it ironically. Shut up. Shut up. Day. Shut up or I'll stab you all in the mouth. 
Aww. Hmm. Wow, way to rip off mouth stabbers. A knife in the mouth is worth two in the mouth. <laughs> also, my mouth is an illusion, so good luck. Okay, that's it. You guys are such hip, creative murderers. Why don't you suggest a murder thing that's never been done before? Ooh, ooh, you got one. You've got one. A right, good theme murder should delight while it terrifies. Suggest he model his murders after a fan favorite Friends episode. And if you get him caught, he'll leave you alone. Tell him his theme should be your personal contact info. Um, this one would be charm, wouldn't it? And this one would be... Fun, maybe? I think the top one's fun or creativity. The bottom one is smarts or charm. <laughs> Took a gamble and won. Oh, I love friends. You should do the one with the evil orthodontist. Directed by Peter Boners. <laughs> Boners. That's a good one. And Peter Boner is legitimately the funniest name a real person's ever had. Would you act like her if someone was trying to hurt you? Depending on if I knew the person. But people's mouths are gross. I'd rather be an evil or Tom Trist or an evil skin take off man. Hmm, well there's no episode about those. Oh, what about the one with the cop? Huh. Somehow, I feel like that one would end badly for me. Ah, uh, yeah, sorry. No jail can hold me. So sometimes I forget that other people have to avoid getting caught doing crimes. Don't worry about it. We've just got to keep thinking. <laughs> Wait, I got it. What about the one with Phoebe's uterus? What, what the fuck? That's a great one. It's the beginning of a really touching plot line. I've always wanted to give my murders more emotional depth. Now I need Phoebe's uterus. What Hard the fuck? Pass. Good luck with that, dude. Phoebe, Phoebe is a fictional character, and even if she wasn't, nobody wants to hand you their uterus these days. Hey, where there's a will to murder, there's a way to murder. Later, guys. I'm off to live with my nightmares. Whoa, you carried nice this work one. getting that guy out of her hair, Sawyer. You too, Hex. You knew you were actually good for something? Wait, you were trying to get rid of him? I was just reminiscing about my favorite Friends episode. Do you guys remember the one with the dozen lasagnas? <clears throat> this natural leads you guys in going out and getting a dozen lasagnas, eating them, and gives you plus two charm and plus one creativity. Huh. Okay, let's go. All right, to the dome. Yeah, we're doming again, huh? Dome, dome. Competitive spin the bottle. You play competitive spin the bottle. You must kiss a camper from a camp rival camp. It's a long, intense kiss in which your tongues wrestle mercilessly. Hey, just the thing for you. You apply someone to inspect your biting, since that's currently very high on the meta, while holding the back of their head to prevent an untimely escape. You win at kissing, it goes without saying you've earned plus two charm. Good heaven. You're in the middle of a rousing game of dismemberment tag. It's like hot dog tag, but with more amputations. When you duck to avoid a flying severed head and run smack into Milo. Uh, did strawberry... Where, 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 where's straw? Where's strawberry is? They're mm. not here yet. We could probably wait for Strawberrius to continue. Yep. Yeah. Me and your mom. Doing your mom.
Well, while we wait, does anyone have a funny story? Hmm. I am back. Real funny Look story, like right? You don't there. need to give funny story. Did you no all funny explode? story for you? Everyone's still right, alive. Anyway. Yeah. yeah, we're all here. We were waiting you for for you to return because yeah, it's Milo posting net. Ah, oh, Green, the man of the hour. Tell me, as long as you're here, which paint swatches do you prefer? Lifeless Corpse Grey or Jaundice Sclera Yellow? Hmm. Uh -huh. Whoa, what are we doing, you ask? Calculester, darling. Could you give the sales pitch this time, please? I have a story poll to tally the results of. You see, friend Milo and I consider ourselves experts in flipping and selling furniture. Given that, Milo is an adept stylist, and I myself am furniture. It seemed a natural fit. Hmm. At that, the moment, we have taken on the daunting task of refurbishing and reselling the Camp Dome. The whole building? What the? F you remind calculus yeah. that while simultaneously dodging flying jawbones and severed elbows, that the Camp Dome is not for sale, nor is it his property. Never stop being you. Adversity has never stopped Gal and Milo house flippers before. If you don't give up on something you truly believe in, you will find a way. Mm -hmm. hmm. Friend Greens, doubt is reasonable, however. Finding a buyer might be difficult, given how dangerous the dome can be. And we'll give you a story next time. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> What? The bird? He's so cute! Oh. Yeah, no kidding. For example, you're standing on moving in the line of fire, nearly avoiding getting pwned by fists that are no longer connected to bodies. Well, that's different. All of the players in Dismemberment Tag have consented to death in this game. But what about the non-consensual death? The dome is fraught with offenses such as uncovered power outlets, exposed wires, unmarked exits, and the rodent infestations attracted by all these rotting corpses. It's a long list of OSHA violations that need to be addressed. What if a newly wed couple with a baby wanted to move here? You make an excellent point, darling. We need Hold to make the camp dome a safe space. See if I can do this. What you checking? I'm uh, just trying to take care of something here. Give me right. a moment. See if I can. Okay. Add source. Desktop capture. Smart selection. Oh, that won't work. Ah. Okay, just inside of this. I just want to see the bird, and I'm just trying to find the best way to do this. Without completely just... <laughs> offing myself. Exploding. Ah, my feet. Here we go. How do we, uh, we, we, we could? He's looking I'm at a bird. I'm just putting it on the Busy. screen for them. Can you see it? Chatters, is this bird real? Can you see yes, the bird? Can. All right. Oh, there yeah. you go. There's the board. He's so cute. There's the He's little got his sleepy little man. Feathers, because he was preening. Yep. All right. There you go. Bird right. has been shown. We need to make we need to make the camp dome a safe space for monsters and baby monsters alike. It's the only way to stay ahead of the market curve. Hmm. Well, baby roofing the dome sounds like more fun than getting your nipples blown off in a dismemberment tag anyway. How can you make the hellhole safe for babies? Hmm. Let's see. 
That's a good question. Create more fire exits. That is, oh, exit man. doors that lead directly into a bunch of fire. Since fire is a useful resource for people who might need it in case of an emergency. Something about all wrong. Baby proof yeah. means the place should be safe from potential baby attacks. Set booby traps for babies. <laughs> oh god. Um, uh, I'm assuming that this is like. Mm. Create some more that, creativity, yada yada yada. For some reason that feels smart and the other one feels bold. Well, that looks here. The, the bottom one definitely feels bold. Give us, give us. Babies is creative and fire is bold. Really? Really? Yeah. The bottom. The creating more fire exits is bold. Not creative, than... it's bold. You want to go bottom? Interesting. Babies I guess is we're creative. setting booby traps for children. That's a wonderful idea, Green. I've done a bunch of research on babies. Weird. And my findings have concluded that they are quite parasitic on young couples. Oh god. Um, are you sure about that? Quite sure. Couples played with babies get 68% less sleep and spend 100% more time cleaning foreign vomit off of their clothing than normal which tends to bring them stress. Plus, the baby-couple relationship is incredibly one-sided. The couple provides nourishment, shelter, protection, and occasionally even affection to the baby. While the baby only tends to cry and produce fecal matter, which is useless to the couple. Don't be so toxic. Yeah. I mean, I guess I have to agree. That certainly does sound like a parasitic relationship. Baby should probably be cancelled. <laughs> so true. Yeah. Besides giving the severely declining economy, much of my young user's base seems to be... Uh, much of my young user base seems supposed to have in children. God. Uh, you don't need to... Don't need to remind me of the world. <laughs> yeah. So perhaps war uh, warding the house against babies is a good idea. Come, darling. Help me make some baby booby traps. Call me darling okay. already. You help them build crib-shaped cages, sticky traps that smell like breast milk, and semi automatic <laughs> rifles that will shoot anything that moves, which includes babies. Crib-shaped cages, this, traps, this, this sticky alone. traps, semi automatic <laughs> This alone seems rather problematic, Milo. Yeah. The first two are the first two aren't like innately harmful, and then the third one is a sympathetic. Yeah, Just... like the 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 cage with... one is like they're trapped there, right? Same with the sticky trap, but they're not like going to hurt. They're not actually right? being harmed. Yeah, and then just the semi-automatic rifles. Just and they're trapped. They're trapped where they're being yeah. shot. I'm happy we are able to provide such a nice service to our young market. Finally, we can create a space that is safety or safe for insidious parasitic babies. You reap what you I do are, child, darling. It's like I've always said, life is too short to spend it in a toxic relationship, even if that relationship is with a baby. <sighs> How nice. Another wonderful quip about the nature of life from my favorite unliving being. You teach me something new every day, Milo. Hell yeah, the genuine happiness in Cal's voice completely justifies all the future infanticide. You gain plus two charm and plus one fun. God, so real. I've got this. So glad that babies babies aren't real anymore. We killed them all. We got them all, boy. Mr. Compass, boys, we're going home. That day, you decide to go scuba diving and find a treasure chest at the bottom of the lake. Whoa! You pick the log, well, in, which is quite impressive if you keep in mind that you're still in the water. Inside, you find over a thousand fun. Unfortunately, a wetsuit doesn't have any pockets, so you can only go back to shore with plus two fun. When you go back, the fish have eaten the rest. They're having a rave right now. Fucking fish. <laughs> You join a game of volleyball with your three most violent friends, Dahlia, Damien, and Aravi. One of them will accidentally injure you with a volleyball and you'll get 
to our Dota real life hurt slash comfort fanfic. Uh, no thanks. Uh, but the last the game never gets far. During Talia's first serve, she hits the ball with a tad too much ferocity and goes sailing off into the trees at Lake's Edge. Uh, Dahlia, what the fuck? No one is ready for Dahlia. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> I win. The ball has been defeated. Uh. Uh, that's not how it works. If you really want to defeat the ball, you've got to stab it. I'd show you, but you just hit it all the way into the freaking woods. Wait. I didn't know there was a stabbing in volleyball. Let's go find that ball. On second thought, maybe playing volleyball with these people wouldn't have been the best idea. You follow them into the trees anyway, because, well, you horny. <gasps> Guys, over there, I found a dead body. Also the volleyball. The three of you follow Dali's voice and find it. They're standing over the body of a pirate. He's got it all. A peg leg, a bandana, a fatal volleyball wound <laughs> to the face. Lame. Oh man, the volleyball's totally ruined. Way to go, Dahlia. Uh, oh, when you... <laughs> oh, so when you murder people with sporting equipment, it's cool. But when I do it, we're suddenly concerned about the sporting equipment. Yo, has anybody else noticed the treasure chest? Treasure, you say? We must loot it. Yes, we must open it at once. Finally, we'll all have the funds I need to conquer the eighth circle of hell. Not if I spend it all on tomahawks and fireworks. M. Need before greed is the rule, guys. And I need treasure. Oh, gods, I need it so bad. Move on. Damn, girl. No wonder you ended up with a cursed necklace. Yeah. All three of your friends leap on the Girl chest at once, sleep. fighting and scratching and hacking at each other for all they're worth. It's no use. Ugh. We'll never get the treasure at this rate. If only one of us were some kind of brilliant tactician and depth of thinking of unorthodox solutions. You're probably the closest thing to a tactician in the group. You throw out a suggestion. Give the chest therapy to help it open up to you. I feel like that's charm. Charm. You've Charm. seen this before. Nine Maybe out of smarts. ten pirates set their ch password as their dog's birthday. Smarts bottom, I'd rather. Bottom's gotta be smarts. Well, let's you suck at smarts, it. so you better hope it's something else. Birthday. Nope. Uh... Pirate. Volleyball. Chest. Hmm, nope. Nope. Well, yeah, no, it's a charm. Okay. Hold on. Are you a licensed therapist? You tell her you want, but that you are a licensed massage therapist, and since the chest is also part of a body that can be massaged, you should be fine. Okay, carry on then. You lay the chest on your massage table and ask you to tell you about his childhood. It shares with you the guilt it felt about the death of its mother, the tree is made from. A little more encouragement, the chest begins to share more intimate emotions. Everyone's always talking about how valuable I am, it says. But you know what? Sometimes I feel pretty worthless. It's, it's like people only care about what I have on the inside, you know, but... What about me? I'm out here on the outside. Feels like people can get even see the real me. They're so concerned that they're trying to get me. Uh, Beans, this is the first time Beans has played. They try to get inside of me. Yeah, oh, and it me. feels so good to get this. I've oh, played the first one before, but not very much. I haven't played any of these. Yes. After a lot of coaxing and encouragement, you finally get the chest to completely open up with you, both emotionally and physically. Rad. Sweeten out of all their motion bullshits over. Let's see what's inside this bad boy. Oh, oh my God! It's Let's seize the more of volleyballs. <laughs> yes, just what we need. Ah, I see. Says the chest. Just like there are others. Well, I feel like we've done complete some really important work here today. In any case, now that I'm empty inside. I think I'm gonna move to New York City and work in high finance. 
with all the other hollow people. Catch you later. You say goodbye to the chest, who you're just glad isn't suing you for malpractice. Head back to the shore to play volleyball with your pals. Looks like everything worked out in the end. You gain plus two fun and one creativity. Heck yeah. Everyone choose a movie. Say your choice out loud. Oh god, here Texas it comes. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. There it is. Voice. Oh, um... I was all... Wait, what was that one? Polar Express for Beans. Polar Express, baby. Good Love choice. that movie. Five Nights at Freddy's movie. <laughs> Strawberry. Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Bay. I said it for a bad choice. I was gonna say Last Bad. Crusade, but eh. the player choices decide on which movie cast should survive the longest on a desert island together. I'm just saying. Um, They're animatronic, so they don't need to eat. Okay, but uh, my movie cast has literally Santa, so... Oh, you're yeah. right, yeah. You, you can literally just create gifts and... That is true, it. I think Santa yeah. wins. Okay. I think Santa kinda, kinda low diffs. Kinda yeah, low diff, so, yeah. Uh, that's green, right? You're green? Yeah, I think green's <laughs> sweeping yeah. so far. Okay, who wins next, so... Um, I got, Texas it, Chainsaw, I got, they have a whole lot of chili. Okay, they only eat but people. if we're talking about the whole cast, it would be the cannibal family with the victims, and they have quite a few victims to kill. Uh, I guess? Yeah. yeah they, and I'm they, talking they about the original They survive for at movie. least a while. They yeah. survive for at least a bit because they have the victims, but yeah, Santa is literally Santa. Yeah. Yeah. Indiana Jones has a lot of experience with survival. Yeah, and at the yeah. same time, if we're going Let's back to the Crystal Texas, Skull, they tend to have one, the alien, so... too. This is all relatively evened out between between it, excluding fucking Santa again. But... Alright, you know what, I'll just <laughs> go... Bop, bop, bop. I'll take last. Sounds good. Alright, time for camp. Time for the ca no. campfire. Uh, do we have cushions for the logs, or...? Let's so... Okay, well, actually, so Nora, you want to go over here, but what is this goofy guy? That is where I'm going to send Nora, because Nora, you have a better option. That'll help you out get uh, the uh, okay, pizza girl. For Nora. You want me to see Mothman? Mothman's your choice. You find Milo, or Milo, yeah, whatever. And Calculus are drinking enough wine Milo. to leave France dry. Which is all because, you know, Calculus doesn't even have a mouth. Welcome to a new day with Milo Bellatona. Uh, I have to oh, say, I think that the natural crispness of the peanut, of the peanut was gonna say it pairs nice. nicely with the gooey, processed sweetness of the toasted marshmallows. Yet yeah, the saras, smoky undertones are undoubtedly the perfect complement to a burnt weenie. What are your thoughts, Calculester, darling? I think that a nice box of red wine is exactly what I need to relax after an exhausting PTA meeting and thoroughly unsatisfying lovemaking session with my husband, Greg. What? Because <laughs> he's a robot. Yeah. And he's thinking about who drinks red wine. Hmm. What on earth are you talking about? Oh, sorry. Was my meaning not clear enough? Perhaps this minion meme <laughs> will suffice to explain my thoughts. Good heavens. See? Yeah. He's a middle-aged mom. Look here, it says, I whine because my kids whine. What a clever little pun. This this game, the, the this game creation is so internet. It is incredibly Oculus internet. Oculus is definitely it not is. trending. I, where are you getting, where are you getting your sommelier information from? I don't think it's a terribly credible source. Mm. Sigh. I fear you are right, friend Milo. But I have no taste buds, and so I have to resort to gurgle searching. I love wine in order to formulate my critique. Oh, yeah, that do. <laughs> but I clearly wish to participate somehow. It seems that this bitter taste of wine and divorce are integral to the organic experience. How can I be part of it? Hmm, what a fascinating aesthetic question. 
Truly, how can a wholesome computer boy enjoy a wine tasting? Wine tasting isn't about taste, it's about the drama. How does the wine make you reflect on the fleeting, flavorful joys of life? It's okay, Cal, nobody actually drinks wine at wine tasting anyway. Just swirl it around and throw two random adjectives together and people think cultured as hell. Oh, mm. God, give me a second. Uh... Charm down here? No, 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 no. This is just a straight heart gain. But you have to figure I out see. who it is. I see. Okay, one sec. Well, that sounds like my Top, the, 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 This one up here. Flavorful joys of life, fleeting. And yeah, drama. literally just him. Top one is drama, Milo. Literally, literally Top just him. Milo. Obvious. Oh, Fucking it's obvious. So them. Yeah. Hmm. Ah, a brilliant point, Green. It's true. Wine is the backdrop for so many beautiful life events and life ending events. Hmm. I've witnessed countless lovers confessing their feelings over uh, medio uh, over melo over medioc. Uh, friends toasting their good fortunes with a nice pre-dinner real sting. <sighs> Riesling, sorry. And so many unforgettable kings poisoned with a bit of belladonna slipped into their port. Such a flair for the dramatic. Yes, Galky Lester, darling. This is the heart of the matter. It's not about the wine's flavor. It's about the feelings it makes you feel. Mm -hmm. Like inspired or poisoned. Hmm. Not enough memory to process this. Okay, I feel confused. Good, good here. This Merlot is an old favorite of mine. It bears perfectly with perplexity. Hmm. Okay, I think I understand, or rather, I don't understand. Perhaps that is the objective. Every moment is beautiful. Quite right, Dublin. And for you, Green, I have a delightful Prosecco. It's bubbly and perceptive, just like you. Hmm. I know you're feeling so attracted to me right now, Beans. Milo winks at you. You hope it's rotaceous and not because they poisoned your wine. Guess I'll find out in a few minutes. 50 conversations. Alright, time to sit over here. Later, you're chilling by the fire when you hear a terrifying, blood curdling, yet also slightly adorable sound. Dahlia and Aravi's hysterical giggling. giggling. Yeah, oh, wait, 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 wait. I guess you can hang out with us if you want. We're just finishing up our weekly girl talk session. Girls night! Yeah, girl talk rules, and Aravi and I have so much to talk about. Next topic on the girl talk agenda is healthy eating habits. <laughs> Yeah, good topic. Usually I have a small breakfast, but I think the most important meal of the day is the one you consume right before the dungeon mini-boss fight. <laughs> and obviously, you should only be eating top-notch ingredients if you start consuming B-tier meals. You'll miss out on lots of potential stat buffs. Cool, Ranch Dorito. This is a You're very one... dungeon pill. <laughs> You're yeah. the one missing out, Arabi. Who cares if your Doritos are D-tier items? They technically lower your offense stat. They're a cheesy mouth explosion. It's worth it. <laughs> Reminds me of a really Rums. awesome dinner I had a few days ago. Did you know that elite grenades are actually really high in fiber? I guess there's uses. <laughs> if you have a demon metabolism like me, you gotta make sure you get plenty of soluble and insoluble metals in your diet. That's why I eat a lot of airplanes. Oh, that makes sense for me. Huh. I gotta keep a healthy balance between eating full meals and just regenerating using a flask potion. Potions are convenient, but you can overdo it. Oh, for real. It's like me and battle wine. I love to have a good two, three casks after a victory, but if I drink too many, I'll be slightly less blue the next day. Nah. Dahlia. What do you think about that whole 30 thing? You know, the one where you're supposed to kill a whole 30 enemies every day for exercise? Uh. Yeah, I, I get why people do it, but, but it takes a bit of the fun out of murdering. 
If you've got to do all that enemy counting at the time, it's just not fun. You two are such, you two are such food jocks. What about you, Olive? If you're going to girl talk with us, you've got to give us the tea on your healthy eating skills. Quick, express an opinion on healthy eating habits. Impress one of the lethal hotties. Seize the moment, Olive. Yeah, I think you can figure out Hon which one. Honestly, my typical meal is eating 34 uncooked potatoes in the middle of a boss battle. I eat my enemies for breakfast and for dinner and sometimes as a snack around 2 a.m. I do the first one a lot. That's how I beat most of my fights in Skyrim. Go ahead. We are totally winning our lane. Whoa, I relate so hard. Some people are into calorie counting, but I'm into HP counting. I only <laughs> eating foods with the highest health and generation stats. <laughs> and uncooked potatoes are the number one best health recovery item. Yeah, because there's so many of them. Yep. Stacks on stacks. Mm -hmm. Damn, that's some valuable strategic info, Abby. I love girl talk. Just, just one question. Do the potatoes have to be uncooked? Over it. Yeah. Yeah. They totally do. I've been begging Arabi to make French fries, mashed potatoes, or even just bake one potato, but she won't do it. Of course I won't. Cooking the potatoes takes valuable time that could be spent finding more raw potatoes. And I can't tell you how many times my ass has been saved by an uncooked potato. Like, this one time I was battling against the Necro Wizard of uh, Kinaria. And the bastard actually got me down to 10 remaining HP. I know, it's super embarrassing. No, it's understandable. His missed based attacks are hella cowardly. They just come out of nowhere. Hell. Anyway, my health was down and he was charging up his finisher power beam attack. And I just started pounding as many raw potatoes as I could in he the middle of the pounding. battle. Oh, God. And I was getting hella HP from those potatoes. And he got super confused and was all like, Ravi, why are you eating so much in the middle of this battle? Ugh. And then he got all offended by it. He was like, I can't believe you. You're being so disrespectful to me right now. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, Matt? Sorry, I was looking at something. Oh, okay. I cannot believe he said that. What the douchebag is the most finicky opponent ever. I know! And after all that, he finally was like, How the fuck are you eating so many potatoes, Aravi? The amount of potatoes you're eating is terrifying. I surrender. So fussy. <laughs> <laughs> what a satisfying victory. Aravi, you are one fearsome warrior and one impressive potato consumer. Thanks. I know. Ugh, girl talk is awesome because it's fun to just talk to people who get me. Like Hex and Dahlia. I mean, I and especially you, great. Olive. You know me pretty well, so, uh, thanks. Ravi is totally impressed with your boss battle of dietary habits, and you do a romantic dinner of uncooked potatoes later that night. So starchy. Heck yeah. Alright, Nora. Head to Mossman. Moss hello, hello! Why, hello there, Sawyer. What are you up to? I like your voice. Not too much, just scrolling on your phone because you're feeling a little introverted right now. Hey, it is Nora. Ah, you don't feel like talking. That's okay. I'll play on my phone too. Cool, you and Mossman sit in a comfortable silence. You and Moss, what a great name. For all 15 seconds, then you get a text from Moss that says, Please tell me something, Gossip. I'm so bored, please. <laughs> oh, sorry. Did I send that to you? I meant to send that to my cousin Sawyer. It's a common name among Bonk people, you know. No, no it's not. Moss is obviously lying he's through his so metaphorical cute. teeth. So you suppose there's nothing wrong with you lying through the gossip to get him to leave you alone? Let's go. Moss seems now, pretty cool. Now, who are you going to attack? <gasps> you get to choose one player. Oh. Okay. Moist, thick, sublime, molecular. Calm cold, or game night, power of god in anime, Jesus. Something bigger than a seagull. Creative freedom. 
<laughs> no! <laughs> my what tantalizing gossip. I can't wait to tell my cousin Sawyer about it. Also, everyone else we know. Yeah, that's Mossman. Mossman proceeds to actually pull up a contact name, Sawyer Man. Damn, I guess it's a common moth people name after all. You have a lot to ask your parents. The narrator is wrong. Like tossing a breadcrumb to a flock of ravenous pigeons, your friends immediately devour and circulate your rumor. I was like, no. Boner fart! <laughs> Who the fuck is this? This guy's boner fart? He's a D&D &D player. Oh, he is. No. Holy shit! Did you hear that dog was in a gang? You won't believe it. Yeah, I'm serious. The gang was allegedly super fearsome, and they called themselves the Thick Crocodiles. <laughs> It's Flat Fuck Friday. <laughs> I heard that dog met the leader, Thick Mike, the Ware Crocodile, at a seedy dive bar on the outskirts of town. Dog saw Thick Mike's gang tattoo of a seagull eating your, uh, your mom, and started asking Mike all about the gang. Thick Mike wasn't going to let Dog just join on the spot, however. There were apparently some rigorous challenges to overcome first. Mind-blowing. Dog had to prank call a cop, steal two gallons of blood, and even dry hump a red light. But none of that stuff compared to the final challenge. Dog had to fight Thick Mike himself using only the power of oh, God wins. and animal. Oh, he wins then. Yeah, Mara. that's a sweep. Easy sweep. Dog won the battle, and he was in the gang for a long time. Almost two hoot years. He eventually left, though, because he realized that he was too badass for that crowd. But if you ever see Doug Seagull's tattoo, no, do you know what it's for? Weird, huh? <laughs> Doug's new gang reputation earns him for fun. Cool. Seriously? Well, I'm cranked on fun. I need other stats now. You're welcome. Yep. I know. You're the you best. Juice. You should have done it to yourself, <laughs> though. You were hoping to make small sexy talk with Joy and or Damien, but they seem to be too busy having unsexy angry talk with each other. Um, hold on. There are a million reasons why you can't be the main coven villain next season, but I'll just start with the most obvious. Villains don't ask us to fight them! They just do villainous things, and then we try to stop them, which ah, they yes. don't want us to do! <laughs> you're not a big bad. Just by asking us to fight you, you're this. already inherently proving that you would be a terrible coven member. Villain. <sighs> But what if I'm using reverse psychology? And I'm so villainous that I know the second I let my true villainy shine, you and the coven will rush to fight me. So if I get you to reject me as a villain now, when I finally do unleash my villainy, you'll have to be you'll agreed not to fight me and I'll defeat the coven with no resistance. Hmm. Hmm. It's an interesting point, but I'm not buying it. Don't get me wrong. You're irritating as fuck, but you're not evil evil. <laughs> <Arson! Okay. laughs> you clearly yeah. wouldn't... What? You... Never mind. Keep going. Sweet honey, baby. You clearly wouldn't know real evil had burned down your tent, which is clearly going to be my next step now. Okay, the real evil one here is campmates fighting with each other. When they could be flirting with you, time to step in. Amy is the prince and everyone knows monarchs are bad. Toppling the invasion uh, to curse is a great next season arc material. All good villains are either orphans or are terrible parents, but you, Damien, have two loving dads. You want to give up on your dads just to be a villain? <laughs> oh yeah, good point. Well, that kind of wealth and power is inherently immortal. You should do something about that. Why not make me a villain and bring democracy to the eighth circle of hell? Uh, for dem <laughs> For democracy. Th that would make the real hell divers. First of all, I don't know. That sounds kind of presumptuous on my part. Second of all, wow, you're really quick to sell your own kingdom down the river, huh? <laughs> Why not? Never even want to be a prince, mother less a king. All I ever want to do was be a hairstylist and also a cop and villain now. I like that. Mm -hmm. In the backstory, I just want to be a hairstylist. 
And you don't care about selling your dads down the river sticks by taking their kingdom away? What a noob. I mean, not to be rude, but I want you to try to fight me for the Eighth Circle. It's not like they think you'd ever actually succeed. What? Yeah, yeah isn't the misery like your number one enemy? And he shows up at your school all the time, Joy. And now I have some camera. It's kind of the exact opposite of defeat, isn't it? Uh, I, how dare you? Dimitri is a special circumstance. Nah, just a perfect template. It's like you almost defeated your enemies, but then you always try to find some way to come back and keep the show going. You're pretty useless. Uh. You are officially my enemy! Fucking Woo! Hell. That's the spirit! That he was actually mean there! Yeah, actually. I am going to destroy you and then take over the 8th circle of hell. Just don't tell Del Dahlia about this. This is gonna be the thing, gonna be my thing now instead of hers. Yeah, because Dahlia also wants to conquer the 8th circle. <laughs> It's uh, funny. Awesome. Next season's main recurring with a great arc. Here I go. Let's start with guest star. Let's start with guest star and go from there. Two and Timmy spend the rest of the evening plotting and counterplotting because enemies have made them better friends than ever. Damien shoots you a very grateful and sexy wink. All right. This should be possible. So we need to go to choices. Has to be choices. Okay. I love gambling, but okay. Okay. Don't wait for Nora to get her thing. This weekend is here and you have no money, which means it's time to hit up one for some free booze. Beer. Yeah, welcome back. Yeah, I thought so. Lucky for you. I'm a journalist, little kitty. Take what you want. Uh, okay. Alright. Let's see here. It should be here. Second, Check the second page, just for me. One of those meat of the guy. Wait. Damn it, it's not available this week. Oops, all right. God damn it, we gotta all wait right. till next week. One, what's the next one? So, so there's Oz Juice, Blood, whatever the fuck that creature is. Brain juice, uh, porn. Yep. <laughs> all right. All so green. the the drink that you're not trying to get me to drink right now is, is that poly juice? That's interesting. yeah, effectively. Porn hurting juice. That's the one. No. Yeah, don't it don't. Minus as long as cats by one. But it'd be funny. I love bone hurting juice. Okay, listen. Die. The one. Okay, if you want to go for something special. You can, if you want, pick the one in the the green hand to grab me, like the flask being grabbed by a green hand. Yeah. It or looks like hex. Hex hand. I do I'm thinking about that Molotov cocktail. Honestly, is that love potion number God damn it. Yeah, anyway, I want all Brian's. That's bad thing. You wanna do all Brian's? All Brian's. Go for your funny. I mean no, if, if I myself no. am Brian. If I myself am Brian. Uh oh. Alright. Oh, Any oh, recommendations, right. Fokker? As I said, you can take your pick, but I would suggest either that flask or the love potion. I'm a bit flask. What about toilet boot? Oh, hey. Toilet wine. It's pretty bad. Toilet wine. Nora, hey. uh, you want to pick. You can't get. Th okay, look on the second page. You want to buy the pizza when it becomes available. Yeah, uh, I know, but, uh... I don't... Can they, they you don't can't get it now. We have to wait until... I know, but it won't let me skip. You yeah, can you get the stat something. shake. No, no, next page, and then bottom row. The one oh, with, with all the little globs. Faces. Yep, beside bone hurting juice. It'll just give you an overall oh, yeah, stat boost. Literally just free that stats, huh? Mind. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And fuck it, I'll get a poly. I don't know what the poly is, I forget. Blast Genie. I managed to catch 
batch of genie inside that flask. It took me years, and you just drank it. I hope you asked for an important wish at least, like ending world hunger. Fuck yeah, you wish to spend more time with your summer crush. Let's do this. You just unlocked a new storyline, which means oh, cool. secret ending. We managed to distill the stats that make us who we are. The result is the step. The step. Smoothie. It is huge. It is a huge, delicious boost. Okay. Damn. Okay. Holy shit. Holy hell. Okay. He once again having the highest stats. The cool <laughs> dude. Yep. The okay. cool dude. I really did it this time with the naming, right? The drink makes everything cooler. Specifically by renaming all of you with the coolest nickname ever. Why not the chosen one? Embodiment of a bass drop. Kind of bass. All right. What's all Brian's? I'm trying to commercialize this new cereal. All Brian's. It turns everyone into the same chill No! <laughs> you may ask why, well I tend to ask why not? We're all gonna be so Brian every, now. Every Still hard to Brian. believe you drink that. Good luck, I guess. Yep, every single character is now Brian. Oh, damn it. Oops. Choose a celebrity. Um... Will I, Smith. Brian Gosling. <laughs> we'll say. Will Smith, uh, Ryan Gosling. Because the things are, the things are funny no. right Jeremy now. Wade. <laughs> Jeremy Wade and no. who? Being said Dan Schneider. Okay. <laughs> Hit it. No. It's kind of funny right now. You anyway. know what? If it's, if it's a who Player you Player orders decided based on how many scout badges you think this lemon would have. Jeremy Wade is literally a fisherman, so... <laughs> Partner, you know, high five. I mean... Wait, hold up. High five, Freddy. No. <laughs> I've and that's red. That Whoever's there. red. Wait, no, that's Nora. Nora, you're Freddy. What? You're oh my Freddy. God. Dan. <laughs> Dan Schneider. I don't know. Dan right? Schneider don't definitely has have... a great foot massage. Jeremy Wade would have he, plenty. True. Of he definitely has. The, he has. He definitely has the foot massage. Man. You know, you say, strawberry. <laughs> Ryan Gosling. <laughs> I don't Ryan think that Gosling. man has ever done anything well in his life. Mm, he's he's got a literally me like badge. Semi, yeah, kind of semi loser boy kind of feel. That guy. Yeah, doesn't do I definitely well. think he is the least. <laughs> Did you say anything, anything Matt? Uh, I said uh, Will Smith. Will Smith. You guys mm. pick. Ugh. We can just hit it random if All you right. want, just to. Give me first. You might turn over you. with. I like gambling. Ha ha, you're laughing. <laughs> You've been murdered. My mic is cutting out. You have six feet. I'm so glad that everyone's Brian. <laughs> I hate it. It's awful. Yep, it's pain. Alright, I need. You could have told me what it does. Boldness. I didn't actually want to do this. I. I mean, I knew what it did, but... Uh, yeah, I no, I did too, but we wanted to let you <laughs> yeah, have freedom. You could have said something before I Brianned everyone. I did you, not we actually could've. want this. But we're all Brian <laughs> now. You could have stopped me, but now everyone is Brian. It's always been Brian. <laughs> God, you're so true for that, honestly. Oh, wandering the haunted manor, your M shows by a group of you. evil spirits. You put up a good fight, but there's just too many of them, and you run away with your immortal soul. Luckily, you always knew this day would come, and you replaced your mortal soul with a bean baby years ago. Good foresight on your part. You gained pl no, plus two boldness. You returned to your tent for some alone time after all the drama, but you should know drama would follow you to your tent. You see Damien punching everything. <laughs> ah, fucking mosquitoes! Why don't you suck the blood out of my fists? Mosquitoes, would you now realize? We've seen we this one. Yeah, we have, but they haven't. Yeah, we, we, we've we seen... Damien no, trying to punch there. mosquitoes. Oh, okay, then we'll see. I was there too. Yeah, you can. You, we can just. We can kill this one. It has been. It has been witnessed. And it's also included in the last stream as well. Not oh, true. Yeah. Uh... Well, we've seen the. Uh, we've seen the. We've seen the highest ones. So. 
Well, yeah, but the heist mod might be the one I have the but, best stats with. But yeah, if, if that's if you, if you need it, then choose that one, obviously. But if the bottom one actually works both for you, then we haven't seen it. Yeah, unfortunately, it is heist. Unfortunately, that's all right then. Yep, glad magic drinks don't work on me. <laughs> da, 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 da. Let's get through. Okay. There we go. Let's go. Okay, so this is. All right, Brian. Your turn. Okay, you. Who, me, who picked Brian. the genie? Who picked the genie? That's me. Where am I going? Okay, you're going after Milo. No. Um. Um. No. Arabi. Oh, right. so I need balance. Go to the Go to the woods. You want to keep some stats balanced. Yeah, I need some more smart. Yeah. Hey, yeah, Brian. Some how you doing? Brian, some more fun. <laughs> That day, do you decide to hike all the way across the woods? You're gonna see what's on the other side. It's a long, treacherous hike that ends up only taking an hour. I guess the woods aren't that big after all. How do you and your friends get lost in them so often? Anyway, it turns out there's a library on the other side of the woods. You go in and read some books or something. Gain plus two smarts. Heck yeah. You're searching for a Robbie, ready to join her on her greatest quest yet. As per your wish. When you find her, it appears she's lodged in combat with a fearsome fairy. Oh, heck yeah. No way, she's doing therapy. Easy to mistake. She's just pissed. You got the therapy ending! Possible. Oh my. But I don't need to make amends with these peoples and monsters I've harmed. A true hero never apologizes. Huh? Yes, Aravi. But the true hero you're referring to is Blorgo the Unapologetic. You don't have to be like him. Let me put it this way. You know how sometimes after you get a new ability, you return to previous dungeons and are suddenly able to unlock new content? Do I? That's the best feeling in the world. The real dungeon is a okay. Yourself. Well, imagine the past dungeons are people you've wronged and the new ability is your emotional maturity. The adventure must wow. Begin. I never thought about it that way. Come on, partner. Stop looking behind that bush and come with me. We're going on a quest. Mm -hmm. Wait, partner's been eavesdropping on our session? That's a huge violation of privacy. What? And having Hex live tweet about every single one of our sessions isn't? <laughs> yep, yeah. Speaking of which, how do you spell eavesdropping? Jeez. Fair point. Well, good luck on your quest, I guess. I don't need luck. I have you with me the whole time. Our 45 minutes are over. Robbie, we talked about this before. I know how long RPG sessions tend to go, but therapy sessions are only 50 minutes. But I'm your only client, and I'm just farmed a ton of treasure from that slide. I always kill. I can pay. Fine, but honestly, that slime might be the first creature you need to make amends with, don't you think? Huh? What? Slimebird? Come on, he loves being slain. Smash got to Slimebird's moist hovel in the nearby woods. He takes a long drag on a gelatinous cigarette. I do not love being slain, he says. I do not love it at all. Oh, well, I'm, I'm sorry, I guess. There, I did it. Now, come on, I've got a lot more apologies to spam. I'm going to speedrun this quest. Hey, listen. Now, hang on. If you're going to drag me along on this quest, you're going to have to apologize properly. Uh... Apologize properly? Come on, how am I supposed to do that? I know I should probably ask my actual therapist, but... Got any ideas, partner? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Read me that, okay. that boy. So, empathy is fun. Patience is smarts. Hmm. Empathy is fun. Patience is smarts. Okay. So, right. patience. Yeah, but I'm reading. Aww. 
Mm. Euro games? You mean games from Europe? No way. The only good thing ever to come out of Europe is bridge trolls. And only because they're easy to find and worth a lot of XP. There's also Eurovision. Don't you dare sleep on Eurovision. I understand. Why you feel that way, Aravi? Euro games are elaborate, take a lot of time, and seem almost to delight. Uh, and seem almost to delight in players' confusing, confusion and hey, frustration. But once you penetrate the hard, complicated exterior, there's lots of fun to be had inside. I see. It's just like finding the weak point of a giant enemy crab. All right, fine. Let's try one. <laughs> hey, look who it is. Uh, Nora reaches in to a fairy sack and pulls out a game box 14 size as big as her entire body. Ding. This is one of my favorites. It's right called now, Afterlife you, Tech Moon. And, and it contains oh, one token for every creature that has ever lived and died on Earth. Also half fairy. Interesting. Ooh, says I love Afterlife Tech Moon. After the third day of continuous gameplay, things really start to get moving. Alright, let's get this baby set up. First, divide up the cards into the creature deck, the shame pile, the commodity pool, and the stack of cards. Next, we're going to need to learn some rules. So obviously, the object of this game is to earn the most karma by exchanging angel points for controlling shares in one of the several ethereal railroads which connect... 16 hours later. And that's how you end the game. Unless you upset the hog lord. In which case, simply follow the hog soothing procedure outlined on page 206. Mm. Great. Are we finally ready to play? Yeah. Oh, wait. There is one more rule before we begin. All players must complete, uh, complete any outstanding apologies still owed to other players. Uh. Wait, I still have to apologize? But I thought this game was supposed to teach me how. What am I supposed to... Oh, wait. I totally get it. Learning how to make amends is like learning the rules of a supremely... Com you gotta take the time to figure out the rules. What governs someone else's emotions. <sighs> I'm sorry, Slimebird. I was so busy yelling I'm sorry at you that I never stopped to ask you. What hurts you most about what I did? Help me learn how to treat you better. I mean, besides the murdering part, this is Lambert. Well, I guess it's now how you never sell me as a person. I always just a source of easy gold next beat. You like, do you even know anything about me? Wow, no, I don't. I'm so sorry. I was in such a hurry, I never took the time to get to know you before I stabbed you. Tell me about yourself, Slimebird. What makes you happy? What do you like to do? I want to play after Life Tycoon. Matt? <sighs> what? It's your turn. Oh, sorry. To uh, well, for one thing, to this line, but I love playing a rousing game of After Life Tycoon with friends. Let's do it. You all have a fantastic time playing After Life Tycoon together. And the box says it's all fun of extended legal dispute, but with more rhymes. Uh, so many choices. Smarts and one charm. Oh my god, my smarts are going to be so high. You have to balance everything else. Ah! Okay, yes. it's Brian time. I need myself a bit of creativity. Yep. That day in Monster Scouts, you know? This is why we play Undertale, people. Oh god. That day in Monster Scouts, you probably practice writing speeches in preparation for possibly being killed by a bear. You want to get your words right. Decide to write a heartfelt poem dedicated to your favorite things in life. Monster Camp, the smell of rain, the bittersweet joy of watching the sunset for the very last time, and chicken tendies. All of these are pretty good, I must admit. Everyone is moved by your poem. You're pretty sure you... Can you make the hear the nearby bears cry? You gain plus two creativity. 
You spilled apple juice on a power outlet and you're about to scrape off the stickiness with your metal fork when you see Milo. Welcome to a new day mm. with me, Lobo. If it isn't the embodiment of a base drop. Just, just please continue to say green. Do not. Go with me, dear. I need an intern to help me lead a soul into the afterlife. And I'm confident that you don't have anything better to do. You should really take this as a compliment. Not everyone has the dogmatic obedience and moral apathy to be an intern. Plus, you get paid in experience. Good heaven. Matthias? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. You were looking forward to cleaning off that power outlet, but your fork can wait. You join Milo. They lead the way to a fresh corpse. A glowing sword lingers above the body. Also, sorry, I was responding to work emails. Okay. Hello, hello. Hello, recently dead cutie. I'm your new BFF for your journey to the afterlife. Some call me death, others call me desire. But my followers just call me my... Madness! Souls reads loudly. The king has gone mad, madness! Okay. That was a lot, and to be honest, I don't love being interrupted. You almost ruined my flow. I'll start over. Hello, recently dead cutie. I'm your new BFF. Sorry. Listen to my tale of woe, the soul keeps yelling. The mad Mer King, King of the Mer Kingdom, has gone mad. Green, this is totally a teachable moment. Newly dead souls always want to tell you how they died. It's easiest to just let them spill the tea. You agree to listen, so the mole so There, soul begins shouting their tale of the Mer Kingdom's master of coin. I served the Mer Kingdom with pride and enforced a 180% tax upon the peasantry. Jesus. Yeah, that's pretty pretty low, honestly. What a what a what a nice. Yeah, he's a good guy. Until the dark night when the Mer Kingdom was attacked, he survived but became paranoid, claiming that the attack was a coup orchestrated by his council. He killed us all. But was no coup. In my dying words, I tried to tell the Mer King. It was an ancient curse upon the crown. That dark night, the Mer King was struck by a eventual spectre. Mm -hmm. I saw the spectre myself. It took the form of a young woman. As the spectre passed by me, I remember it stank of tequila and the devil's lettuce. Oh. Hmm. My god. I'm riveted. I must. The assassination, the coup, and now a ghost. I'm afraid I might faint from the drama. I know, right? Thank you for listening. I feel better after telling my tale of woe. You can take me down to that. Mm -hmm. I'd love to, darling, but I'm afraid we have a problem. I see that you're hoping to bring along some luggage. That's fine. But you're way over our weight limit for more possession. Over the weight limits? Preposterous! My family buried me with 19 satchels full of my dearest possessions. Can't I upgrade to economy plus? More? I'm afraid not, dear. I'm only giving special treatment to relevant dead people, like the ones who are verified on Twitter. It's only fair. Guess this is pre current this Twitter time. verification. Uh oh. Looks like this dead aristocrat is going full on carry mode. Quickly, prove your worth as Milo's intern and help them think, figure out what luggage is to leave behind. You need a stationary bike, you don't have a physical body now, so there's no point in keeping it tight. I'm gonna leave behind a suitcase full of bowling balls, oh god. Smarts, fun? Let's see. It's a bike. 
You okay, Nora? Yeah. Mm. What? Love it a lot. So, smart for bike um, and fun for suitcase. God, I'm so smart. Uh, Giga Chad. Uh, my ass is not smart. Ah, my charming intern is right. If you simply leave behind this large suitcase that's filled with just bowling balls, we can be on our way to hell. Uh, the, the afterlife. Hmm. <laughs> you got it. Impossible. Don't you see? My bowling balls are my most prized possession of all. They're rare treasures. I cannot possibly part with them. Mm-hmm. But they'll be useless to you. After all, there are no bowling bo bowling alleys in the afterlife. We installed a no greased floors rule after the great slippery soul orgy of 1608. What? Darn. You tasteless fools. Those bowling balls are decorative. You're not supposed to play with them. They're each from an important time in my life. Hmm. Wait, really? I just assumed that these were for a tacky weekend bowling league. I'm curious. Why are these balls so valuable to you, sweetie? I suppose I'll explain. See, look at this one. I bought this bowling ball the day after my wife left me. I mess it every time I look at this. I love the fucking cat, like, screaming in the, the soundtrack. Yeah. You guys hear that too? I hear it on occasion. And this one, the bowling ball, is the exact same way as the first baby I killed. When I hold it, I feel like the kind of person who wouldn't kill a baby. And this... Fine. What? He would kill a baby. Yeah. And this, this was my first bowling ball. My father gave it to me right before he said he was disappointing me. Burned down our house and abandoned my family forever. Stop right there. Recently dead person whose name I'm not going to bother to learn. This is an emotional intervention. I know that you're died and life isn't easy for normal looking people. But that's no excuse to hide your light under a shroud of sadness. These bowling balls are dragging you down. This is an opportunity. You need to, to leave grow. this collection of miserable memories behind. Not because of the weight requirements, but because of the weight they represent on your heart. You, you, you're right. The soul cries out through deep souls. I'm gonna leave them behind. This weight, I rid myself. How does the bag not tear apart with that many bowling balls? You, Milo, and the soul, take the me. bowling balls back to their home, the bowling alley, and set them on fire in a dramatic dash of... I feel so much better now. I feel so light in my heart and my soul. Like I can fly. Thank you. Thank you, you angel of death. And thank you, you useless intern. Bro, what the fuck? I'm Brian. Hmm. <laughs> I'm happy that you're happy, dear. And we really should get a move on. I just got a notification about another gig I have to get to right after this. Mm. An entire bowling league needs to be escorted to heaven. Their cause of death was apparently arson, and subsequent bowling alley structural collapse. Mm. Oh, oh dear. Sure, I guess. Milo gives you a glowing ledge recommendation and even lets you kill someone to practice the reaping. Hell yeah, you gain plus two creativity, plus one fun from the rush of murder. Uh, so many choices. Alright, Nora. Okay, high five, Freddy. What? You just falling asleep? Uh, which one do I pick? Well, you can pick either one. Okay. That day you decided to take a swimming class in the lake. You learned all sorts of cool swimming techniques. The backstroke, the side stroke, the Macarena stroke, the mime having a stroke. Hmm, so many things that I would do to you. God, mime, mime having, having a stroke. stroke. Terrifying. 
Backstroke oh. and side stroke, bro. God. All those Don't strokes mind having are all fun, though perhaps medically concerning. Game yeah, plus two fun. <laughs> yeah. How many weeks are in this? Oh boy. Three. Uh, yeah, so we're almost. I think we're a little over halfway done. Such. And you sound yes. like you're a saint. You kind of have. He's so awesome. We and you guys. And. Uh, awesome, you guys. I can breathe underwater and do a whirlpool attack? Gods, I'm so glad I spent 200 million rupees on these greaves. <sighs> you go, Chris, next. Okay. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Is that so? Yeah. <laughs> That's what it read. That's what it's <laughs> I mean, hey, you read, you read. Yeah. Sorry, my uh, mouth was full of lake water. I was trying to say, I fuck yeah, this is fun as shit. Lake time I with high like five Freddy. Fucking classic vibes. I probably should have narrated that one with how horrible my lungs are. I could absolutely <laughs> cough me out right now. Hmm. When are you not going to the doctor yet? Suddenly y'all here about uh, doctors all busy. You look it's over and see a messenger to... emerging from the trees. He's only a... Man? Sorry. Hello? Can you hear me? Yes, you're, like, falling yeah. asleep. No, I just said the line. Ah, uh, that messenger looks familiar. I swear I recognize him. Maybe someone I cursed in the past? It depends on the timeline. Adventurer Arabi, Adventurer Hex, Adventurer High Five Freddy. I have searched for many moons to. Uh, oh, God. Um, Deliver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got an important message for us. Life or death, blah, blah, blah. We know the deal. Give me the scroll, noob. Hmm. The messenger gives Arabi the scroll, but right afterwards he collapses onto the ground. He appears to be dead. Wow. Weak. Should have had a stamina potion, am I right? Anyway, looks like the scroll says venture to the northwestern wood. Bring this scroll. The ring of sustenance awaits you. Adventure awaits! You guys, the scroll is main quest energy. Kinda weird, but I bet this is an invitation to a dope ass dungeon. Ooh, I can smell the loot already. Ugh. Holy shit, old everything. I just realized why I recognize this messenger. An actor! I saw him on TV in a commercial for that new bagel place that's opening up around here. Another ad. Then, if he's an actor, that can only mean the Ring of Sustenance is the new bagel store. Aravi, that scroll is a dope ass guerrilla marketing advertisement. Yes. Uh... Ugh, no, it's definitely a dungeon invite. Not everything is about bagel sex. And the Ring of Sustenance? A super dumb name for a bagel store. Mm -hmm. Psh. Not everything is about motherfucking dungeon, Miss Dungeon Maker. Ah. You know what, Hex? I do like dungeons, and I'm not ashamed of it, you green fart cloud. <laughs> oh. Oh, God. Uh, off my shorts, you loser ass, sundary ass, RPG ass, nasty smelling ass, full inventory ass, Koopa Troopa looking ass, bitch. Damn. It's your turn, Matt. 
Oh, oh hell yeah, you've been waiting for this Hexen rally. <laughs> Sorry. You... No, I think you need to go to sleep. Yes, I admit I'm tired, but at the same time, I'm trying to fucking respond to messages. Oh, hell yeah, you've been waiting all... Well, Hex and Ravi do have an argument, so you can support one of them in a broke gesture of romantic friendship. Pick a cell, right? I can't. Oh, my God. Yeah, Matthew? Are you, uh, what? do you spell burnt toast at the moment? Are you all good? I'm looking up the answers. You guys can read? <laughs> do you want me to read Hex them? Hex is right. I just found that messenger's no, IMDb page. Just pick a one. His name is Todd Zombiehead. And he's definitely <laughs> an actor. <laughs> uh, Robbie's, Robbie's right. There's That's no actor. I can prove it by hurling his corpse into the sea. B, what would you do in this situation? Win, apparently. Mm -hmm. uh, high five Freddy, no. I think that messenger is an actor, so I don't think he'll act he's actually dead. Probably wouldn't be super chill to throw- <laughs> Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah, high five Freddy! Let's throw this corpse into the sea. Ravi is um. very psyched about your corpse hurling idea. You three drag the corpse to New York Cliff, evoking the... Okay, <gasps> Matt. Damn, those are some big oh, waves. One second. Kind of thing makes you think about how small and insignificant we all are. Am I right? Over it. Psych. Psych, the ocean can eat my ass. You don't have an ass. Not a pex. Okay. I five Freddy. Time to hurl. I'm thinking we do a classic dead or alive test. We toss it in, and if it floats, it was a corpse. Uh... And if it doesn't float, then uh, we get all the experience points for killing the messenger. It's a win-win. God, I can't believe I have to put down my pizza roll blasted goldfish. And be the fucking voice of reason here. I hate being the voice of reason. It's not a vibe. Yeah, well, this is what you're stuck with. <laughs> but holy shit, this makes zero sense, Aravi. We got totally distracted. Even if you prove this guy is actually dead, that doesn't help us figure out the scrolls. <sighs> oh my gods, just let me throw this corpse into the ocean. I know it doesn't help us that much, but I really want to toss him it. Toss him. I haven't thrown a body off a cliff in like two whole months. <laughs> it has been a while. Texas I will thing. admit. Yep. You know what? I do it. Eat that. <laughs> eat that man back to Mother Ocean. Yeah. Yes. Okay. High five, Freddy. Here we go. Three, two, one. Pearl. Oh god. Hi, <laughs> Played by the. Jesus you throw the messenger into the ocean, his body hits the water and makes a huge splash. You all have a laugh about it and high five each other. Play of the game! See, this totally proves my point. Throwing corpses into the sea is kick ass. <laughs> I still think I'm right about the bagel shop, but I admit that splash was dope. Now let's blindly follow this scroll to the north northern woods. Let's see. Let's adventure together. Fuck yeah! And you're coming too, High Five Freddy. I'm officially making you a third party member for this quest. Let's see. I know you're only level three, but don't worry, I'll keep you safe all dungeon. Just stay close to me, okay? God, that one was really long. Sometimes I feel like it goes on for way too long. Yep.
Uh, I'm just gonna random. Yep. Boy. Oh my god. Yeah, that's the problem. They're all we're all green now. Everyone is green. I need, Everyone anything, is here. I need anything but boldness. Or anything but smarts. My goodness. Anything but smarts? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, uh, I need fun the most. Alright, we'll give you fun. And boldness one shine. I think I'll hit the... Oh. Uh, don't we say the pool? Or no, you said you needed it. Um... Yeah, I need fun. Yes, I can show the bird picture in a sec, but I don't know where to go. Does anybody uh, go, need to go to the manor? Not that I, I think. just need, I just need the dome or the fucking scouts. And okay. these above checklist on everything. I'll tell you, find a beer in the yep. haunted manor, but instead of showing a reflection, it shows you an exaggerated evil version of yourself. Hilariously, you do see that in camp. Or not camp, but uh, road trip. Evil you says, you will never surmount your insecurities and look at how perfect I am. And look at my friends. Nobody will ever be you. Counterpoint, many of your precious flaws are totally fabricated by greedy companies looking to make a profit by promising to fix things you literally can't control. As soon as you tell that, the evil sweeps a bloody mess. As soon as you say that, the evil shrieks bloody murder and disappears. Nice. You gain plus two boldness because you're amazing just the way you are. Damien, Calculus, and Milo in the basement. They're discovering a secret room full of creepy artifacts, just like in the movies. And they're blatantly fucking with it, all of it, just like the Welcome movies. Welcome to a new day with Milo Belladonna. Oh, what is up, Milo, my lovers? Milo here, with another exciting unboxing video for you all. This week, an authentic Iron Maiden with fresh blood coming out of it. Let's take a look. <laughs> oh, a corpse and bell and some spikes. They have really gone all out on the details here. Let's see what features this corpse has. Oh, that's crazy! Fuck, there's so much brutal shit here. I don't even know what I like most. It's all the doll I also constantly on fire and screaming. But it's on the television. Keep showing me what I'd look like without skin or face. Uh, fine, here what I come. Plans for today? Yeah. I predict the oh, fuck. I, I actually wasn't trying to hit the enter either. I asked it as if there were sure a common ancestor, but all it said was blood, blood, blood. And so I am at a loss as to how to proceed. Oh well. You're wondering what kind of zany bullshit you should try to get your friend's attention when your clumsy ass saves you the trouble by tripping over a power cord. Well, you trip, whack your head on some kind of large box made of glass and metal. It lights up to reveal a carnival fortune teller. Proof that our future really is the dream of our fantasies. Hmm. 
I don't know what the fuck that means, but I like how the dummy inside is grinning like an insane person and obviously cursed. <gasps> I am mildly disturbed by the fact that it is operating despite its cord not being plugged in. Thank you for activating me, rasps the voice teller. As a show of gratitude, I will answer any one question about the future. Be forewarned, however. The price of this forbidden knowledge is your soul. Well, considering all three of them. Hmm. Raise your hand if you have a soul. Nobody? Sick. Free future knowledge. Somebody ask a question. Life is a gift. Oh, I have a question. Can you all believe how lucky we are to be alive at this point in history? Hmm. I think he meant a question for the fortune teller, friend Milo. Oh, nope. The only thing I question is my own limits daily. As should we all. If this is opportunity you've been waiting for, ask your question so good it'll make your friends want to have sex with you later. Sure, Ford. What slang will be cool in 20 years? It's important to stay ahead of the curve. If you know the future, why don't you tell us what our question is going to ask? That's just meta. Hmm. Fun and smarts. Uh, well, fun. You'll be too surprised how often I get that question. Very well. In 20 years, the most popular slang phrases will be Cheesing the weasel. Fooling an asshole into thinking he's having sex with you when he's actually fucking a tube of Pringles. Okay. Poon Sextant. A gender neutral alternative to win, man. I guess that could work, actually. I guess? And putting your jelly on the possum. A term for the future practice of putting actual jelly on possums. Oh, okay. I need a fucking slam the head. Also, all the cowboy go. slang will once again be in fashion. You're welcome. Magnificent. Finally, a term for my preferred method of deflecting unwanted sexual encounters. I'm not alone. And I'll finally be able to utilize my wing persons of all genders. I'm gonna put jelly on so many possums. Mm -hmm. I don't think you're using put jelly on the possum correctly, Damien. It's also a sexual euphemism. I know, those two were unrelated statements. Ah, I apologize for improperly parsing my statement. Partner. Oh shit, it turns out the calculus is extremely passionate about Wild West lying. He spends the next several hours teaching you all to swear like cowboys. You call Damien the low down biscuit eating cabbage thief. And he doesn't even decide you for it. You gain plus 900 gumption, 2 fun, and 1 boldness. 9,000 gumption. You gain 9,000 gumption, my goodness. Okay. So. I mean. You'd have to ask the others. I don't know what the stats are sitting there. Hmm. Nora, you okay? Pretty high what? five. Oh, pretty high five? I'm fucking tired. <laughs> if we can do save. We, do you guys want to If do you guys want to start at seven, it's almost game. eleven. Fine. Do we want to just cut it here and do it another day? I'm okay that. to do that if you guys need to. Yeah, yeah I need. need Probably go. To, I should probably go to bed because I gotta work fucking fourteen hours tomorrow. Oh my yeah. god, baby! It's gonna be either twelve or fourteen. I don't know which. Yeah, we'll call it for tonight because yes, I'll admit I'm kind of half zoning while I am answering goddamn mail emails. Okay. All right, we'll come back another day, folks, and we'll get romance happening, and Nora will get her pizza girl. Yeah. And yes, I will show a picture of Bird. Hell yeah. Uh, what's that? Where's Bird? Bird. Uh, Bird, desktop captures, my selection. There you go. 
He Burr. has to work tomorrow, and I don't know if I'm gonna even see him. You'll talk. You'll see what Maybe. I can do. Alright, 